this week on your mom's house. As the kids say, those girls belong to the streets. And she was like, inappropriate question. <laughs> what are you trying to fuck me, Dad? <laughs> you came. In I have done it a come. couple times. What? What? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva Mattress Company. Go to sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off. Hello, this is Captain Marcel. Yes. My sister went down. I'm going down into the mountain. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. To an episode of your mom's house. It's fucking I'm, morning. Hey. It's fucking morning. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and we're here and we're queer, queer and we're ready to get it. used to it. So, <laughs> I miss Captain Marcel. She was one of my first TikTok finds. She finds. was an OG, yeah. Um, and she was like, My sister's trapped down the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to get her. Yeah. And then she okay, would. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd be like, It's hot out today. Like the Waspus guy. Yeah, she'd be like, yeah. You must hydrate as well and eat your food, eat your spaghetti. Yeah. And you're like, That's really good advice. She was sweet. She was a sweet person. Um, I just got him. A you woman the of up. the people. Um, Oh, by the way, remember on our way, I was like, "Oh, you reminded me of that thing." I got to see if he responded. Yeah. He did not respond. Stop <laughs> it! Do you want to? Do you want to give a version of that story that we can uh, tell? That we can tell publicly. I mean, it's pretty astounding. It is pretty astonishing. Um, you know when somebody owes you, <sighs> yeah, and, and you go like, "Hey, what's up?" With the O, and then, you know, you gave it like a grace period. And then they don't respond. They don't respond. That's just you, one of those things that's happening right now where I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to, it's like, it's not like I can't continue. I can't pay my bills, but I'm like, hey, you do owe me. Yeah. Well, and I think the, the first insult is the, that that person didn't initiate contact at first. Like, yeah, no initiation. It's been three weeks since. Yeah. And you're like, you could have initiated like, hey, I'm aware yeah. Check is in the mail. Like, you know, when you lie to people Some, and yeah, you're like, check's in the mail. Or at least a, my bad. Yeah. Right? You got to you gotta do the act or something. Yeah. You always yeah. got to at least be like, oh, it's coming, man. Like, you just, something to string them along. I, or yeah. I'm embarrassed you know. that I haven't. You know, yeah. you Shylock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Your people invented this trick. Wow. We're starting off hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, like acknowledgement of like, <laughs> he loves it. But look yeah. at him. I love you. I was going to pull out my new glasses, but I'm going to wait. Because, Just because of that. Because you're such a good sport about us making fun of your heritage. And I really appreciate heritage. that. <laughs> yeah. You're Irish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Patio yeah. Cal I'm not a racist. Just because I say the N word in a video. Okay. So... <laughs> 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 I love when any shakes his head. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 yeah, mommy, yeah. So, oh, yeah, mom, dad, I'm black. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where the is that Soul Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, God, that's the best yeah. movie. That is mm -hmm. the fucking it's so it's. I liked this movie growing up. I know you're not supposed to anymore, but. He takes he takes tanning pills. Yeah. That's the premise to get into Harvard. And he's like, what's up, my brother? When he shows up to places and they're like, that guy's black as shit. Like, nobody can tell. <laughs> and they have a scene where there's a pickup basketball game and they're like, you. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. So good. You thought, you'd think that a movie like this couldn't be made now. And then that guy did make, a guy made a movie about um, that he's a radio host. You remember this? Laquisha. I do remember. Oh, yeah. That was the wild. And here's the thing. The backlash was so immediate. Because, like, the <laughs> idea, you know, you go, you go, you couldn't make Soul Man now, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And then this guy's like, I made Laquisha. And he put out the trailer for this. It was bad. I remember And this. the trailer was so wild that you couldn't find the trailer anymore. Who did this again? It was this, this dude, that guy. That's the guy that made it. <laughs> Is that trailer still playable? Because they, you couldn't find the trailer anymore. <laughs> it was so amazing. No, see if you could play it from there because I had a play button on it. Like, can you play that? <laughs> it's like Tiptoes. It's one of those cool movies. Yeah, Tiptoes. But Tiptoes <laughs> also seems, it seems made up. This is real. This is not an SNL sketch. No, I remember when this came out and I was like, that's not even and funny. You're like, 
It's not even well done. And he was doing radio where he was like... You always seem to say the right thing to just the right person. What's your secret? I'm really just talking to myself. I don't charge for my advice. Well, you should, because it was amazing. I saw this, and I thought of you. You will be a hit in no time. Welcome to the Joe Show. I submitted myself to a radio station for my own show. Well, congratulations. They rejected me. Well, uncongratulations then. You weren't right for your own show? Jason skipped it. We need to get the money for this school. 13000 a semester? <laughs> That's who needs their own show. If I was a black woman, I'd be perfect. Stop, go She's brilliant. I know. Get her in here. No quick going to be the biggest thing in radio. But I still need my anonymity. You know this? It's not a crime. It's theater. You love with Loquisha. What's your problem? Hi, Loquisha. It's free. Oh, I ain't talking to you. Not the way you sound. Next caller. You go, girl. You just be good to her. If you good to yourself, you can be good to others. But don't be too good, because the police will come around. Yeah. Where did you get this? I got another job. Doing what? Consulting work. What the hell would you know about being a white guy anyway? I know quite a bit. Loquisha is a real role model for every African-American woman on this planet. Loquisha! Like the whole city has a Quisha mania. I am Loquisha, officer. What was that? I think I might be a black woman trapped in a white man's body. You need to talk to Loquisha just because she's a... Yeah. It's so stupid. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, here's the thing. You know what? Also, you realize, you're like, how the fuck this could made? I think he paid for it. That's how you get to make those. You, like, yeah. Because yeah. everybody else will be like, you're not going to fucking make. And if you're like, I'll write the check, they're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, part of me feels bad because what you want is for someone to, it's an independent <laughs> film, written, produced, directed, and starring. Yeah. Jeremy. Seville, it's wild that somebody involved wasn't like, you know, this is a real bad idea. <laughs> this is really not going to go well. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no one would, pulled him aside. Like, if this like, were my idea, yeah, I would let's want fix at some it. point. How do we fix it? Well, at some point, I go, I want to do this. Just somebody in my circle of friends, family, like work, pe like somebody to be like, just be like, hey, man. This is going to go really... Yeah, no one's going to like this. Just do a thing like Tom or Black where you just like get to get it out that way, you know? 100%. Have like a little bit on your show. You don't have to make a whole movie about the, it. The thing that just... It just smacks of too many tropes. Yeah. With the white guy that's like... Like the trailer I mean, is if really... If I weren't a white guy, I could be successful. Like, first that, of all, that's yeah, so yeah. stupid. That's such a trope. And then the humor's not even good. No, the jokes are bad. Like, is there a... I don't know, like... could. He should have had Who at could least make this. Well, and he make should it have work, had. I'm trying to fix it. The the <laughs> thing is that he should have co taken the nut of the like the you know the right, seed the germ yeah yeah and you go okay now I'm gonna write it with a black woman yeah right so then all like the the jokes that are tired and repetitive and and feel like oh this joke's been done a million times like the tropes and the, the yeah story, all that gets washed out. And the story becomes a different story. But yeah, the, the problem is it's a white guy's version yeah. of like a black woman a says, black, yeah. hell no. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah. um, you know? Yeah, and it's then, a white guy's version. Because even yeah, the movie the, problem. the movie Tootsie, where Dustin Hoffman played a woman. Yeah. And it be it was it was a it it's still her, is. It's about her pussy hurt in the whole movie. Right? The whole thing he's like, yeah. my period. Yeah. Like, Chicks are dumb. I got railed last night. Yeah. yeah. But what was brilliant about this movie is that it didn't focus so much on the drag element and yeah. it got into the nuances of what it was like to be a woman in the 80s. So there had to be a woman involved. I hope. I th right? I, it was brilliant. It's still good. I mean, look it's at good the movie. It's writers too. and producers. There's got to if it's if it's that well done, it's either an absolute genius yeah. of a man, which there are many because we're the smart ones, <laughs> or. Let's okay. See. Let's see. Um, Tootsie, it was, it's still good. It's a good script, oh. but we don't know if we had women consulting behind. Oh, Ellie, Elaine May uncredited. The film was adapted by Larry Gilbert, Barry Levinson, Elaine May. Yeah. Murray Shishkel. 
Well. You don't know. You don't know. But they did a good job of, of that. Yeah, this this thing does. Like, that trailer seems oh, like it so would be. bad. If that trailer was starring Duncan Trussell, you'd be like, this is the funniest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because because you <laughs> that, know what he's that, doing. That's how you fix it. Yeah. Um, but but you'd know it's a bit. You'd know, it, uh, you know he made a a trailer for a movie that doesn't exist. <laughs> The part of this thing is like halfway you're, you're like there's no way this is real and then they're like no this this is a we made this film and it's like what the fuck okay but then real talk yeah how many dads out there were like that's great that's really funny well yeah i mean i'm sure my dad dad would be, humor if my would be dad like, were around he'd be like have you seen laquisha <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know black women really are like that yeah <laughs> I think my dad would would like that too. He'd be like, they're, "So true. They're so loud. They're honest. They're loud. Okay." <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I had in my head the other yeah. day? Mm. Okay, it's your big sassy broad. He's like, oh, "Oh, okay. I don't, I don't play that big oh, Kevin sassy Samuel. broad." Kevin he goes, Samuels, yeah. he goes "Okay, like, get your two piece, your three piece, and Popeyes." The whatever best you got. is that he had. Like, he always had a, a flat expression. And he was like, "Okay, big sassy broad." Hit his button. He's like. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't I don't play that shit. Okay. Uh uh. It's <laughs> just always always deadpan. deadpan. Okay. That was the best. I don't, I don't play that with big sassy. If you are so big, okay, that you can't tell me how much you weigh. Okay, you go on with your ch your, your papa, your, 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 your bojangles, and go ahead with your life. <laughs> <life. laughs> yeah, you go on, get your two piece, your yeah. three piece Popeyes bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to myself the other day, just yeah. walking around our house. Okay, yeah. go on, get your two piece, your three piece. Yeah, Popeyes. Yeah, he's a version of Laquisha, right? Because he's straight up honest <laughs> advice yeah. from a sassy black man. Rest Gosh. in peace. I can't believe he. Died. I know it's such a loss. The greatest thing, though, I mean, I, I'm, I am truly, I, I, I'm not uh, 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 glad. I mean, I, I, I like that dude that he's gone, is, but that he did die. Fucking, I mean, he was fucking. Yeah. Somewhere. And that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Rest in peace. All right. Love you, buddy. Here we go. Oh, oh big sassy broad. Why would you teach your kids to go to school, work 40 hours a week for 80 years to pay off a mortgage for a girl that, that, that's just going to leave them and take their kids anyway? That's retarded. I'd rather my kids smoke dope, have fun, go fishing, fuck heaps of miles than that. Like, that's ridiculous. Unbelievable entrepreneurial and that school is not entrepreneurial it's fucking it teaches them to be sheep right they should be out imagination then they probably wouldn't ever work a day in their life they'd figure out how to get what they want pussy catch you later <laughs> cool dad don't bring anyone mugging to this it's kind of dad you want yeah. <laughs> well, welcome welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura Tom Segura Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Meow, 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 me
Yeah. So, yeah. It's classic. <laughs> the desperation is already in the voice. Yeah. Just at that opening line. Good morning, Julia. <sighs> yeah. You it's me. You feel the desperation. Me, Joe. Pussy. Um, <laughs> this is what your dad would have been like if he had a boy. I, I was kind of thinking that. You don't I, need school. This, this fucking is stupid bullshit. shit. Yeah. So. It's kind of true. My dad was like all about having fun, like just getting to that vacation and letting loose, you yeah. know, but he worked really, really hard. He mm -hmm. was a business owner. He did it. He did the right thing. And then he just wanted to fucking party, you know? Partying's fun. I respect it. Yeah. You know, he's got that DNA he's still alive, still kicking, getting drunk, getting faded, yeah. fucking chicks. Like, yeah. yeah, dog. In his 70s. Yeah. What most people want to do in their 70s, you know? <laughs> Still get after it. Still go for that dopamine drip that you really have to fucking. You guys squeeze, you squeeze that hard on. to make it drip, and you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Man, are you so? How are you feeling? I know you were fighting in Fallujah last night and the night before. You seem tired. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit a saw? Did the mission not go as planned? It did. I just didn't want to think about it. Are you traumatized? Yeah, I lost a couple of brothers, okay? <laughs> they step on some IEDs. What happened? Just sometimes you can't just, you can't cover everybody, you know? There's a lot yeah. of action. There's a lot of things going on. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. So, speaking of military. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, we talked a while ago about banging in the military when Brian Simpson was on. Yeah. And this email came in, and it sounds pretty great. Okay. Hi, mommies. Just wanted to let you know where people have sex on Navy ships. As a former sailor, I can confirm I was never as hot as when I was in the Navy. <laughs> Maybe a five or a six in the real world. Once I stepped foot on the ship with all those horny seamen, I was a fucking ten. <laughs> Though I was not someone who fucked multiple people on the ship, a boat hoe, if you will, I did meet my now husband there. And we did it wherever we could. There are lots of small spaces to meet up that have locks. And since we both had access to locked spaces, we did it in a variety of said locked spaces. Behind radars, in ammo rooms, top secret storage... I don't know where the dummies that didn't have security clearances did that, but it was for sure being done. Thanks for making such a great podcast to get me through my workday. Piss on me, beat me. <laughs> Can I tell you what this makes me realize? What's that? Dude, fuck college. I should have gone straight into the Navy. Yeah. Been a boat hoe? Hell yeah, dog. Ugh. All these like hot, straight guys. Try it out. Yeah. They're all like in good shape. And she's right. If you're like a five or a six, bro, mm. on a boat. No, it's true. You're Marilyn Monroe walking around they're, there. They're they're losing their minds. Yeah. Yeah. But then you're just. I mean, you're just a rag doll too. You realize that's that. cool. That's cool. I could do it for. Can I do a gap year in the Navy? Yeah. <laughs> like a gap, a gap like come year. A come year. Yeah, yeah. Like I get out of high school. Mm -hmm. Nineteen ninety four is when I graduated. Yeah. And I'm like, I just go on a Navy boat for like a year. I, mean, I don't have to join. I don't have to join. Maybe I could do like some other kind of civilian job. And just stack your body count. You just want to fuck like thirty sailors. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Ugh. <laughs> Everybody knows too. That's the thing. Yeah. Everybody they all knows. Talk. They're like, that's the whore right there. That's yeah. our. That's where we fucking all make our deposits. And they, they treat you, you know, nice when you're walking yeah. on the ship, kind of walking. But they're like, hey, what's up, Christy? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah come here yeah yeah because every every base that i would tour on yeah. they would be like oh there she is that's the that's the one that bangs everybody yeah yeah there's well, always you would home. you would find out when they're like oh yeah you know you, like someone would say your nickname and you're like wait what yeah i have a nickname and they're like yeah, yeah you're the jizz mop yeah you know? and <laughs> you'd be like jizz mop chris jizza or yeah. whatever yeah, yeah thanks and then you're like how'd i get that nickname and they'd be like yeah, you, you know. know how you got that nickname. You know. You know the fucking commander well, gave it to you. Here's the good news too, like they're all like 18, 18 yeah. 19. It's yeah. the height of their sexual Oh yeah. prowess. So imagine go. if I oh, I should have gone into the navy for yeah. like just a, a ragdoll year is yeah. what they call a it. A ragdoll year. Yeah. yeah. And they just fucking It's just pump and dump. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's 18, 19 year olds. They're um they're ready to they're ready to go at all hours too. And fit. Like that's the best part. Mm -hmm. Talking like good specimens. Yeah. Cause I went to SF I was when I was in SF for college, like a lot of those dudes were like, you know, doing side stuff with other dudes. Yeah, really? Yeah, because like you know, a lot of bisexuals and gays up it's just, it's just like the gays mm. up there. It's a wild to wild to kink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So especially with like the AIDS scare, I was always like, God damn it, you know, I'm always afraid of messing with dudes if they're with other dudes. That that was a real threat back then. For sure. So I should have just gone into the Navy. You yeah. could have had the um you could have had the whole thing where you have a year of just really that's really sexually liberating, you know? I know. Would the Navy let me do a come year tour? Because don't, don't like once you're in the military, you're not it's like they tell you how long you're there for. Don't you have to I do, don't like, think four they give years? you a year. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, but what if I were to sign up as the, the cum dog for the Navy for one year and you're like, they, I volunteer? They honestly, you're just gonna surprise you. They frown upon that. What? They're, yeah, they don't actually celebrate that. It's weird. I think you should have just been like a, a porn girl for a year. No, that's public. Oh, you got to keep it private. That's the difference between women and men. <laughs> you would want to be a porn star for a year? Well, sure, because then everybody would know. <laughs> <laughs> and women want to be like, I've never done anything. Of like course. That. I'm a lady. It's like, no, you're not, you fucking whore. I know. And yeah. you, do you want to know what's interesting too, Tommy? What? Is that all the girls in college yeah. that were whores back then, mm -hmm. like even now they have kids and husbands. And I'm like, yeah, but you're still a whore. Yeah, of course. Because I knew you when you were a whore. When a whore. Like, if she's a whore in her heart, <laughs> that never leaves. Whore is in the heart. Yeah. That's, <laughs> in, your, <laughs> that's in your wiring. Yeah, you it's know? in your DNA to be a hoe. So, like, can a hoe ever be a mom? Yes, they can be a mom. Yeah, but they're always a hoe. At but their they're core. always a hoe. Yeah. yeah. Even on their deathbed. In their, <laughs> in their 80s, they're still hoes. You know? Look at yeah. this old dying hoe. Yeah. yeah. That's what the doc the doctor comes in, he stuffs his dick in her old mouth. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and he gives her one last here's your final bit of medicine. <laughs> right before you go to the other side. That is so stupid. It's true. That's so stupid. But it's true because like my friends that I mean, you know one of them. Um yeah. we went to her wedding. And she was such a hoe. And like, dude, bro, like I see her shit on Instagram. And I'm like, you bitch, I know you. Yeah. Like, don't fucking pretend. With that your, you're getting married? You fucking smile. <laughs> no, she's got, like, kids, you know? You said don't fucking smile? Yeah, because you're like, you know how many you dicks smile. were in that mouth back in 1998, ho? Jesus. I lived with you, bitch. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, sure. I feel like they're just playing the part of, a of like, a nice, nice lady. lady now. Yeah, I Maybe. know. Because you know them in their youth, and that's, like, the core identity. Well, as the, as the kids say, those girls belong to the streets. You know? <laughs> and, they you belong have. to the night. Is it their song like that? You belong to the that's, city. That's, that's the first iteration of a girl that belongs to the streets, right there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny because you know the uh, truth. Here's the thing about hoes, right? Yeah, is that they're a necessary part of the ecosystem. Of course, God bless well, the hoes. They're a necessary part, but the truth is, the sadness, the other side of this, mm. is that no one really wants to be with a hoe. Mm. Hoes are supposed to be. It's temporary. You're you're you're, you're supposed to be discarded. Mm -hmm. You practice on the hoe. Yeah, and yeah. she because she's not she's giving it away. To, see, men want you to be a hoe with them only. True. If they're of with course. you, they want you to be a hoe with them. Yeah. But they don't. If you're like an actual hoe, they're like, all right, but I'm not gonna love this hoe. Why? Because she does this with everybody. I know, and you can't trust her with your heart. Because you she's can't trust gonna, her with your heart. That's she's right. She's gonna stomp it to the ground yes, and I, but i feel that right. way about male hoes too you should I, I don't find it attractive when i would hear like oh i've had sex with hundreds of people i'm like i, I, I agree. feel fucking sick inside because what it does is when somebody has those Gross. numbers what you realize you know this is going to upset some people but yeah. they're damaged anyway so yeah, who, cares? who cares um <laughs> is that when you have those numbers you realize that that person really doesn't respect themselves if you don't respect your yeah. body you just give it to anyone you don't really respect yourself so how, why am I supposed to respect you? I know. You know, and then some of them try to sell the. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm like, liberated. I'm sexually liberated in my culture. That's my favorite. Like culturally, where I'm from, we have a different approach. No, you're not. No, we're you're all people, not. and we're all wired actually the same way. Yeah. You know, you can be comfortable with like nudity, 
But the fact that you just give yourself to people is because you're no. damaged inside. Damaged, you know? guys. You know? And even like, are you a cum slut? Yeah. And I always like, <laughs> I always think too, like, what's in it for a girl to have a one night stand? It's because you're like, you're just gonna jizz in me, and then that's it, and then right. bye, and it's not even. I don't know you well enough, so we probably can't have a great sesh. Probably not. I mean, what I think what it does is that it fulfills that. Usually, that guy in most situations, that guy's going to be really nice to you. For He's going to express time. desire and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you get that feeling of like I'm so desired by this person. Yeah. You know, it's probably not going to be the greatest because like they don't like, know you that well. They're not going to be able to. You don't know me. Yeah. Shit. I don't know, but I mean. You don't know me. Yeah. It's it's not going to be awesome. That's what it's going to be like. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's going to be that on your face, you know. No fucking thanks. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's true. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I could have done it for one year and then nobody would know because it would be in the military and then I'd just come back to the mainland to but back to the homeland and be like, I being the conversation that we're having now, do you think that would make you feel better? Would it would you feel good about it? You think? Dude, or shame about it. Honestly, like, okay, can I tell you something? What? Let's let's just talk real talk. Yeah. If I could take st STIs mm -hmm. out of the equation, yeah. Like really, yeah. Pregnancy and no STI. Yeah. I got nothing to lose. You do. You don't have anything to lose, but it's it's the uh, it's like the other side of the conversation we we're just having. I know. If you're giving yourself to somebody all the time. Is it really that fulfilling? Or are you just a, you're just a piece of trash that should be thrown away? You know, like no one should love you. But that's why you do it on the boat, and then you come back, and nobody knows. No, but it's knows. still, but it's still, it's still the reality of who you are. You'll feel it inside. Of course you are, and then yeah. people will just see it, and you'll be like, "Look at this fucking trash bag." Trash, yeah. yeah. Trash wreck, bitch. Yeah. I mean, I would have thrown <laughs> it out, and then I would have just spit in your face and thrown you on the street. <laughs> Throw me off the ship. Yeah, I've been like this fucking whore. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I also think like they're like we found we did it behind the radar machine. See, she made it clear that she wasn't a boat hoe. She, yeah, she hooked up with just a few guys. She said her husband. Yeah, yeah, but also I'm thinking like, do I really want to hook up on a radar machine with somebody? Like, I need a bed. I think you know what the reality of this is. At least a bus. You the know? reality <laughs> is the back of the bus. <laughs> reality is that it's um, yeah. it's better in fantasy. As as most things are. Yeah, it's just a fantasy. The fantasy. All like, right, Tom, you talked me out of it. I won't take a gap year with the Navy. No, no, no. You should really do it if you want to. But <laughs> you should do it now. But I think that the I think that even guys, guys who have the same fantasy, like I wish I could yeah. go to this beach resort and fuck every girl on the beach. Most of them, it's a they. They'd actually just want one. Just one. You just yeah. need to fuck one. Are you missing the syrup for your pancakes or just ran out of your favorite coffee creamer? With DoorDash grocery delivery, you can get what you want right when you need it. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered or will make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you pick them for yourself. With easy substitutions right in the app and best-in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use code your mom at checkout limited time offer terms apply that's 50% off up to $10 on a $15 minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code your mom don't forget that's code your mom for 50% off your first order with DoorDash Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready for the wild with their game-changing full-body grooming and hygiene products. Don't be the guy at the beach with Austin Powers' chest hair. And if you grew some winter man tits, the least you can do is make sure they're hairless. It's time to get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code mom listen 
I'm so grateful for Manscaped. My husband loves their products and it keeps him smooth and silky. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. The kit comes with the Essential Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof Cordless Body Trimmer, the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Toner, the Weed Whacker 2.0, and two free gifts. Having the right tools for grooming is essential. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. Yeah. Can you look up what age, what's the age limit signing up for the Navy? It's probably 34. Yeah, I'm kind of past it. Yeah. It's too bad. I'd be a really good seaman. Oh, dang, 17 to 39, just missed it. No, 39, yeah. Just missed it. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys there with hard dicks between 17 <laughs> and 39. Especially those first year guys. Those well, guys don't that they? couldn't well, get into what? college. Can I tell you what the good part Your is? Your favorite though? type of guy that can't my, read well. My, <laughs> and they don't they put criminals into the Navy? Generally, like the judges will be like, you don't have to do time. Well, that's, that's what they told no, me no, okay. when I was on a naval ship. No, there's there are such things as like program diversions where they're like instead yeah. of it. But it's yeah, but it's not like murderers. And shit. No, no, no. It's it. But I don't mind those program divergences. Yeah. Divergences. I'll tell you this about the, those guys, the guys that would have gone to jail and have to go <laughs> to the military. No, this is honest to God truth. Yeah. They know how to fuck. Those but guys what, yeah. can fuck. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Some yeah. Puerto Rican homies on you there. You always go there. You always go there. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, it's fucking morning. Oh, the Soreños. Do I have this tweet? Do I have the tweet I wanted to bring up? He's fucking. Or do you have it? Oh, here yes, it is. There he is. Look at this tweet. It's from Doctor Anastasia uh, Maria Lupus. Can we go to her page real quick? She is. What says half Viking, half philosopher, doctor of medicine. Opinions are my own, and just unprompted the other day unprompted decides to tweet out that this video yeah. of a gentleman we all know as Mr. Norm Summerton yeah. she she tweets we need to call this what this is mental <sighs> illness imagine a pig with tits and it's one of the old school ones it's a fantastic one where he's got his tit cups on and they've been in there for like four hours, as they normally are. And um, he just goes ahead and, you know, takes them off. She calls it mental illness. It got 1.2 million views on Twitter. Well, if you scroll down, there's a ton of engagement on it, too. I mean, <laughs> quotes, likes, retweets. Look, the first thing says, please better at YMA Studios. I mean, he's right here. Yeah, he's right there. Guys, I mean, show some respect. The pride of Calgary. French, Canadian. Poutine fries. Um, the fuck did I just watch? It's a back and forth of people being absolutely blown away and people Norm. tagging us. Yeah. Um, now, I, by the way, I think he took a gap year in the Navy. I think he did. That's how yeah. he got to be such a good poutine pig. Yeah. Well, look, to reduce Norm Summerton to mental illness is to not, you don't love him. You don't know him like we know him. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. He's a very, very It's cool just guy. kink. It's not mental illness. Yeah. I Look at these titties, eh? Yeah. He's not hurting anybody. Look at this. Stick figure. Titty, 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 titty. <laughs> Guys, you, there's no need to shame him. Yeah. He's just a sweet guy. I know people had a really sour reaction to it that I didn't expect. Well, people are haters, Tom. Haters going to hate. Yeah. They don't support what we do. I know. <laughs> you and I support the outliers, the marginalized communities. <laughs> These squares, you know what? These people are just fucking nerds. They yeah. don't get it. They don't, they don't get, get it. it. This is sick and should not be normalized in any way. I don't think you can normalize this. Like, yeah. I don't think it's going to catch on. Norm is pretty specific. It's pretty a specific. lane. It's, yeah. It won't be normalized. Rest guess, assured your children will not be tit cupping and pig poutine. Here's the thing. I, 
I've normalized it <laughs> for myself. Yeah. And therefore, when somebody has a reaction of anything other than like, oh, that's Norm Summerton, then I think they're weird. <laughs> I know. You know? I know. Because I have a, a warm place in my heart for all the cool guys on these walls and all the cool girls that we showcase. Yeah. We, we love these people and we're grateful to have them. Without them, there is no YMH. So... Yeah. Um, real quick, also, uh, coming up very soon, our very own Enny and Ryan are going to play one-on-one. -on -one. And we, um, <laughs> we learned a couple of things in the last few weeks that um, I didn't know, and apparently Enny didn't know, um, the difference between an enema, uh, a suppository, a colon cleanse, and a colonoscopy. These were all the same to everybody, I think, in the booth. Is, Is that, that right? To all you guys? No, not everyone in the no. booth. No. Who not, didn't know? Not Just smart any? Chad. Just any, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at that look in his face. <laughs> do, you, do you know the difference now, though? I mean, kind of. Kind of. I'm going to do the one that doesn't suck, right? Yeah, you're going to do one that feels good, actually. Mm. You're going to feel good about it. All right. You're going to like the way you look. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, you did also say that you discovered that one of the things, the, the big thing that you wanted, yeah. if you win this, um, is you wanted to see Istanbul and get a hair transplant, which luckily we can do both on the same thing. And, but you didn't know. I don't know if I said that first one, but. <laughs> see Istanbul, live it, feel it, dream it, be um, it. But what you didn't know is that a hair transplant would hurt. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, see, this is something that Ari said. Ari was in, in the house yes. uh, yesterday. and The big J was here. He, and, <laughs> And uh, he was like, yeah, what are the stakes? And I was like, well, if I win, I get a hair transplant. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. He's like, and you're cool with that pain, huh? I'm like, the fuck you mean pain? What pain? What are you talking about? He's like, oh, yeah, that shit hurts for like like weeks, man. I'm like, why yeah. didn't anyone fucking... Yeah, but any pain is cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> God, I'm know. A, lot of, a lot of things in this world are cat. Uh, I don't know about pain. Uh, Come on, you that one pussies. Really oh, oh, oh. I like that. Men are pussy when it comes to pain. Dude, but a little bit of pain and a whole lot of dreads, isn't that a good trade-off? That's such you know, a cool trade-off. I also looked into it, and I'm pretty sure dreads is not a good move if you get a hair transplant. Hair. Yeah, well, you probably don't. You don't <laughs> to, think you're not supposed to do that. You don't want dreads <laughs> out of the gate. Yeah. That's probably accurate. Yeah. Like, right out of the gate, no. But once you let them, like, settle in, when they're like, you're good now, you could probably do it then. Well, hold on, because how long would you get hair transplant like how long would the length be can because well, once you don't you have to s that, you're you, you're beholden to that length obviously no 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 the no. hair transplant it's like m moving follicles from the back of my head mm -hmm. to the front but of it's my now head. scarless you know it used to be yeah. you see the scar on people's heads there's no scar anymore and the and, hair grows yeah so it, it's literally just my own follicles that are you know they they take wow. it like like half of from the back of my head because that's still growing right now put it in the front of my head so it should just grow like normal. Yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. really cool. We in the future, baby. We in the future, baby. So, but dreads, don't they hurt naturally when you have them? Like to roll them, it pulls the hair, you know? It, yeah. Oh it, yeah. It's to, painful to, already. To, to get them done? To get them done, yeah. But I'm saying that I, I don't know if the hair will be strong enough, you know? I, mm. I mean, I don't know. I, I I guess it might, but. We can get you a dread wig and see how you feel. Yeah. That's a good idea. I don't like wigs, man. No, just like, to try it out. Just wigs. to see what it looks like. I don't know, man. Wigs are cat. Why don't you just do <laughs> do dreads with what you currently have? Stevie Wonder does. Really? You know what I mean? I don't. What do you mean? Well, like, he, he pulls, like, <laughs> crazy, like, tight. And he's missing a bunch of hair in the front. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, that, that I'm imagining it and it doesn't look great. And also, that nigga can't see, so I don't know if... <laughs> You know, he doesn't know what he's looking like. Yeah, yeah, See, but that you know, looks kind of cool. It, yeah, does it? I don't. I think it's. I mean, look, I always word. love Stevie. He's he fucks, doesn't he? Have like ten. Oh, yeah, Stevie wives. Wonder. Yeah, he's a good-looking blind guy. He kind of lucked out, you know. Well, you could wear okay. You could wear a beret like Smokey Robinson. I'll never and then, forget. That I was in the Beverly Hills Hotel, <laughs> and I'm sitting in the lobby. And I 
look up. I'm waiting for a car to pick me up. So I'm just sitting there because they're like, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I look up and Stevie Wonder is walking with a guy. And I'm like, my mouth drops. I'm like, that's fucking Stevie Wonder. And then they're walking right here in front of me and they stop in front of me. And I'm like, holy shit. And I want to say something, but I'm literally at a loss for words. And then the guy goes, oh, the bathroom's right over there, Stevie. And he's like, all right. And then he just walks to the bathroom. And I was like, mm. how does he know where the... How did he do that? Yeah. Because he has just... He can see partially, maybe? I mean, he was good. He nailed where the bathroom was. So he's got to be able to see something. Yeah. Did you go in... And yeah, of course. I watched them take a shit. I was going to say, yeah. I go, the door's closed. And I was just holding the door. <laughs> but he just, yeah. Went on his own and came wow. back. Wow. That's cool. So, okay. I do want to get look into this dread wig, though. There are some cool options on Amazon. Like, what kind of dreads do you want? How long are we talking? Shit, as long as it'll go. I don't know. That's cool. However long, yeah, but these, these, this is, this Found is fucking, it. The this Rasta cultural hat? appropriation ass wig right here, I am with this. No, <laughs> that's corny that. as shit, dude. That's, that's horrible, Thirteen ninety nine. my nigga. It's uh -uh. like yarn, too. Yeah, that's a good one, let's try that first. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Bought and sent to the Come studio. On. The Fidra Highway. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta wear that shit, Bro. man. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Oh, there you go. That those are good dreads. Yo, uh, how's it gonna be a white dude? We're allowed to express our feelings too. <laughs> yeah, why are there all white guys with dreads? Stop adding it to the cart. I ain't wearing this. <laughs> Stop with this. <laughs> Please. This why shit. are they all white guys with dreads? This is true. Is it considered less racist to have a white guy? In that dress? feels super racist right there. Yeah. Doesn't it? That's Where this guy's like, Bumba Clad, hey man. <laughs> like Johnny Pemberton doing the voice. Yeah. I love is, that. It's pretty Rasta bad. Marley wig, reggae costume beach bum. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. God. That's about as bad as it can get, right? Yeah, those there. are bad dreads, too. This oh, guy's bad. like, Loquisha is back. Yeah. Totes. Mm -hmm. He's like, I heard you loud and clear on that black woman thing. <laughs> I'm doing a black man this time from Jamaica. And he gives the best <laughs> advice. Hey, man. It sounds like you have a bad relationship <laughs> with your children, man. Everything is You need Irish. to spend more time with them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking A. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There's some real... Oh, that's the hair. You could just buy the hair. That's cool. Yeah. We go, okay. Get a bunch of these for any. It's a good yeah, start. Yeah, let's try a bunch. I'm yeah. co sign this. I ain't co sign this. <laughs> this one and that one look cool. <laughs> oh. So great. Right. Yeah, but I, would you get a hair transplant? No. You no, know why? I care. Yeah. It's that, it's, I'm glad you said it. I just, I really honestly feel like I just don't care enough. Yeah. I was looking at photos of myself with hair. And most of the time, like 90% of the time, I'm barely showing that I have any hair. Like I wear short, short hair. Just, I've had the opportunity like to, to do it. And I always feel like it's based on how you act, right? Your actions of like, if it was like a thing to me, I would have acted by now. I know, it if just it really bothered you. Yeah. No. Like I don't care, like my head, I'm lucky my head shape is normal. Lucky. And so. your beard kind of, it balances out yeah. Every, like you, you're a balanced face. That's all you can hope for. Yeah. I'm not, I know. I wouldn't do it. Nah, you don't need to do that shit. No. It's there okay. might be a thing in like, I don't know, five, 10 years where it's e like something we can't imagine even easier. They're like, all you gotta do is take this pill and all your hair will grow back. I might be like, okay. But you know what would end up happening? I'd have a buzz cut. Like I'd have super, super short hair, yeah. just like I always have. Yeah. So I wasn't ever a long hair guy, except for twice. Once when I was a sophomore in high school, I had long hair. I have a photo of it. It's oh, pretty hilarious. See. How long? Like in, here, someone just sent it to me. No way. Yeah. Um, I want to see. How you want to see? It's going to make you laugh. This is me in... Let's see it. As a sophomore in high school. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. You're so cute. 
I love it. You want to see? I'll send it to you guys. Oh, so cute. And then I had it one time when I was full head. That was cool. Twenty six, twenty seven. I also did. I had it. um, I also did it for a minute. But everyone said I looked like a creepy um, uncle. Cool. You know, I was like combed back. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, there I am. You're a cutie pie. Oh, look at those eyes. Blue steel. Yep, that's me. That's a sophomore in high school. Did you have a beard then too? Like, were you shaving yet? Uh, every like few days, not every day. Yeah. Look at that little puppy. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> so intense. That look, you're like, I'm going to fuck you. Yeah. That was my whole mission in high school. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to fuck this bitch next to me. Yeah. Blonde chick. You look like you bullied every other kid. Yeah. That, why do you look so page? mean? <laughs> we can't show her, but that blonde that's right next to me. What? Did you bang her? I wanted to. All right. <laughs> you probably bang her now. I took I took her to a a dance. I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. Why? You... Yeah. You know I'm your wife, right? Scroll. Get like, close. Like I don't want to hear quick. that real life girl you want to bang, Tom. Uh, these are we're kids here. Look at that kid. Look at her. She looks so pretty. You know what she looks like? Uh, Fucking like Nicole Eggert from yeah, like Charles in Charge. Why do you think I had a hard on for her? I know. <laughs> kind of crazy you guys were right next to each other and we also started school on the next on the same day in the middle of the year we arrived at the same time what's up what's up did you try to go with her or what yeah i just uh, i just was too i think i was too nervous i was too nervous yeah to, it'll be a cute couple actually now i think about it you got to go find her <laughs> you guys were meant to be you look like you'd be siblings yeah no. your, your fucking evil lizard eyes together your soulless lizard faces. What? Man, my eyes are blue and I'm colorblind. Now she dated one of my, she dated one of my friends and he said she was a real hound. You know. Stop it. She was a real hound. Yeah. I also said she had. I, I don't want to get into it. I know where she is now. I could tell you all about it. It's not good. Well, well, um, oh, good. That yeah. makes me happy then. That makes you happy. But it's not good, so you'll never love her. Why do you think I looked like a bully? Because your expression's terrifying. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's some some about that that gaze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like I know something you don't. Yep. See your you killer. Know? Angry. <laughs> yeah. Look terrifying. At Look at those yeah, eyes. Why aren't you smiling? Like there's no smile. You did that face all the time in high school. It was like. Yeah. You look like you've gotten away with murders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the longest hair I've ever had, right there. He's on his hair. Yeah. Just I mean, like I a bully. I, you yeah. know, the thing is, is that I think I was like, I was around Florida boys, you um. know, who had like bro cuts. <laughs> and they're like, do you burn dog? And <laughs> yeah, dog. It just influenced me. Damn. Yeah. You know, you look like the, the what is it? The Melendez brothers. Oh, those stop. young guys that murdered their parents. Will you Google those two guys? They wear suits in court. That's yeah. the kind of faces they would make too. Oh, stop. I mean, they're like, they look all normal. Yeah. <laughs> there are those two psychos right there. at least they smile in photos no, how about the one above they're not smiling oh, there yeah smiling now it believes me now yeah yep. <laughs> pretty accurate eh to uh 200, 210 pound sophomore in high school right there Damn. big boy i would have loved you I, no. I think what it is for me is uh, that there's a game called Bully. It's literally called Bully. It's just this kid that bullies everybody. And In a kinda, game? You kinda, yeah, you play a character that bullies everybody. That's the game. That's the game? That's the game. Yeah, it, it was controversial back then. But uh, you look like the main character, but like thinner. You look like a thinner version of the main character if you look up Bully the game. Wow. You okay. look like that. You got the freckles and everything. I was actually a pretty nice kid, though. I really was. I mean, I I talked shit and I was like, I laughed at fucked up things like I always have, but I wasn't like, I didn't pick on the kids. That, no, um, no, you're gentle. You don't pick on, you're, you're not that kind of guy. No. It's not your your jam. No. No, no. But you look like you would kill, definitely. You've got some deep secret demons going on. Yeah, of course there's a there darkness in there. Darkness inside. There's darkness in everyone. Mm-hmm. There's darkness Not in like everyone. You. Oh, there's the bully. Yeah, he's like a British, like a lad. Bully. He's a fucking bully. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 
Hey, come here. I want to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. No. That game looks awesome. It's so weird to look at a picture mm. of yourself and go, like, I'm 15 right there. No. You know what I mean? Then you look up at the screen, you're like, God damn. A lot of years have gone by. <laughs> Old and not 15. Not 15. Or just how young 15 is. Yeah. It's nothing. Like, you just got into puberty, dude. You're just barely not a baby anymore. I know. Yeah. And at 15... I feel like I was already up and out. Like, don't you feel like 15, you were, uh, were you grown up yet? I felt like I was already an adult. I felt like it. Yeah. I felt like it, yeah. Um, like I right. already had a life. We should, uh, we should take a quick break, and um, we'll be back in just a moment. Lenovo. We are back, and we're so happy to welcome one of the big alums of YMH Studios, who's out. He's flopping his roach wings as high as you can <laughs> flop them, and he's killing it on the road, on podcast. Give it up for the one and only Josh Potter, hey! everybody. Hey! The cockroach returns. I came out from under the fridge. Here yes. I am. <laughs> well, cockroaches do really well here in Austin. Yeah, I, I've seen a few of them, actually. My fans <laughs> came out here. Yeah. Both in human form and in ro regular actual roach form. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, it's so good to see you, man. Thank mm. you. It's great to see you guys. Mm. Glad you're here. I haven't been in this uh, studio yet. That's so. pretty cool, right? Yes. It's wonderful. Um, you're here. You were at the mothership last night? I did go to the mothership. I be They beamed me up. Yep. <laughs> Have a good time? Yeah, it was so much fun, dude. It's a rad so place. Fun. It's, a fun it's place. crazy how new and beautiful it is. It's yeah. wild. And the audiences are just Yes. Still well, I, I saw Joe a couple times. And I just, every time I saw him, I just went, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think he got annoyed probably after a yeah. while. <laughs> I, I think we're all so grateful to yeah. have a home club again. You know? yeah. yeah. The fact that that's here, we can, like, the other night I just, I told them I would come do one show. And then I was like, can I jump on this other show? And they were like, yeah, sure. And that's so you crazy. you just go back to back spots. So fun. And you're just like, oh, that just feel. And if I had stuck around, I could have done it two more, I'd done four spots in a night. Jesus. It's great. The same place. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, there's all the tunnels and it's like disney world yes yeah, it's, it's like the fun. disney world for comedians yeah yeah and joe just was like oh it's just something i wanted to do and then he's like, oh, <laughs> da, da. like it's a little side project for him <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm sure he's there every day he's there a lot but yeah. he's not i mean he'll still he stays away from it sometimes but yeah i mean the fact that he he basically built himself a comedy gym that he you know that sure that would he he would want to use and he's like yeah you can use it too <laughs> yeah. yeah that's amazing yeah, it's so I mean, fun. and and there's all kinds of other things going on too. It's just like the spill off is crazy. From yes, it. mm -hmm. it's banana yeah. land. It's it like the '80s land. again. Yeah, yeah. Austin. Not that is I was alive then, but the know. hub. I know, <laughs> but even here in Austin, like they just opened the Sunset Room. We were just talking yep. about that's open now, and um, you know, you got you got Vulcan still doing shows. You got Cap City. Yeah, I just did that last night. Domain in the Creek. Creek in the Cave. Creek in the Cave. Which is on, just a it's all right by each other. It's yeah. all, I mean, so if you go out, say you're just here for like tourism. Yeah. Go out and about, you're going to find a good comedy show like at some point. It's nuts. Yeah, they're all in the same area. Yeah. Except for Cap City, which is more of a, a date night experience, like, because it's at the domain and there's like more parking. It's just more like. Right. Less chaotic if you want that experience too. Yeah, but it's so yeah, it's dope. It's all together, which is very rare in the comedy world. Because even in LA, you've got the improv here, and then over way over here. Right, it's even the in New York, factory, you've got like store. New York Comedy Club over here, yeah. the other ones over here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah it's still a lot of walking. Um, can I tell you what I think about <laughs> from time to time with you? Please. And I, it's so funny because at the time it didn't register, and then now I'm like, oh my god, that was so funny. Remember when you were in a phase of making um, shoulder arm videos? Oh, I might go back. I'm entertaining it. So this could be my reveal of like, hey, I'm back, baby. No, yeah. I, <laughs> well, let's talk about it because the demand was so high. Yeah, I would have to raise my price to lower the deluge of requests that I was just inundated with by so many people. It got was, too much. I got was, to be honest, I was on the road with him. <laughs> and I'd be like, you want to come to lunch? He's like, I can't. I got to shoot these videos, man. I got a bunch of shoulder hair porn to do. They were like homework because Cameo, they like count down. They're like, you have to do it by this hour. I'd set my alarm and wake up and be like, oh, and try and like cram it in, you know? So it became, hey, so it Eric, became, I was, so I wasn't even doing? giving it my all. <laughs> exactly. I'd yeah. wake up and I'd be like, I wasn't even giving it my whole heart, you know? Yeah. So I felt terrible. 
<laughs> now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but around that time, wasn't it $60? Uh, I started at <sighs> 50 trying. and it got crazy. So then I went to 100 okay. for the holidays. <laughs> and uh, I did do a discount, I think, for like Christmas time. But yeah, um, yeah I was at 100 at one point. And it was still too much. Still too much. So what do you think the, the price would be now? 250 I think I got to go 250 yeah, yeah, if I'm coming back out of retirement. You know? So then you do, you do four and you get a grand. I mean, that's not... Yeah, that, exactly. That's a good scratch. Exactly. And how long are the videos? They were two minutes. I would up it a little bit for this new price. And because I am doing <laughs> less, I can then put my whole self into them and give yeah. up my all, you know? Would you do stuff like crawl onto the bed towards the camera? <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. do a little sexy, hey, yeah. you know, you move them around. I would do a lot of dirty talk with them. <laughs> You get, rubbing would you, them would you do foot porn like you were doing too? Foot porn became hack, I think, at okay. some point. So I really just kind of pivoted out of that. <laughs> pivoted. Now, the thing that I also remember quite clearly is at one time you were like, we were somewhere and you're like, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'd love to go to dinner, but I got to film this shoulder porn. And I'm like, okay. And I go, it's got to be pretty great, right? You got all these requests and all this money and you go, I got to be honest, man. I'm starting to lose the twinkle in my eye. Yeah, I know. I was like Shawn Michaels. I lost my smile. Yeah, you know so, what I mean? <laughs> so will this new price still keep well, you? Well, that's the thing. I think I can find my love for the game again. Yeah. You know, I can come out. It's like when Michael Jordan put on the 45 jersey, he yeah. had to like find basketball again. Sure. That's the way I would come out and it would be. The price would be higher. I can really put myself into it again, and I'll find my love again. And but do you think you'll still feel back. like a whore? Like maybe you know, someday. Yeah. But we have to live in the present. That's true. You know, be mindful, and just do the part that I love, which is making people come looking at my shoulder hair. <laughs> yeah. You know. That's really what gets you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, at the height of your shoulder yeah. porn days, mm -hmm. how many videos were you doing in a, in a twenty-four hour period? <laughs> Tell yeah, that yeah. that'd be good. I would yeah. love to hear, I would love to have reaction videos. I did get one from Corey Taylor that one time. That was the only reaction video I had. We played it on the show, I remember. What was but, that? But uh, when Corey Taylor from Slipknot received oh, your a shoulder, shoulder hair, hair porn for yeah. Christmas, and they filmed him watching it. That's cool. That's yeah. true. But I would like more. I would like to know the fruits of my labor. Yeah. That would be a nice little that'd addition be, yeah. to my, maybe it'll make me feel more satisfied and i would it's love just it gonna again. be dudes sending you like tribute things of them jizzing on cool yeah do you i'm sorry did you really think that people are ejaculating <laughs> i hope so if you are i'd like to hope are. you know yeah. yeah i try to i try to hope so there's definitely some fans that are just like it's josh i love this ha 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 yeah. lol it's but a shoulder there's porn a there's a couple of those there but there's a like, few who are J and their d's mm. yeah. you gotta hope right i mean would you consider opening an OnlyFans page? You know, I would. I would like that, actually. Breaking but news, YMH exclusive. I gotta go, you know, honestly, Cameo has been so loyal to me. Yeah. I don't know that I can just go about I would do OnlyFans, personally, only if you're down with me being full nude and, and jacking off and stuff. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit like Would that. you jerk off, though, on it? That's yeah, what that's would, what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to do the DJ Khaled thing where he's just like, check this shit out, man. Right. Like, look, look at my nice stuff. I'm, yeah. I'm grilling today. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm either jerking off yeah, yeah. or I'm not doing it. No, you should You should go, go full, full throttle. Yeah, I think you should. And I think, you know, it'll just be a really cool lane for you to explore yourself, explore your sexuality. Yeah. Um, you know, this is a whole new chapter for you creatively, and I fully endorse it. If you're being serious, I'm signing up. It's for a it. good way to show off yeah. your new body too. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you're more flexible now. Yeah. You could like do a thing where you, you're the guy who like shoots his cum into his own mouth, like because you yeah. flip your oh, legs. Oh wow, yeah. he's been practicing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, I have some like definition that I wouldn't mind right. showing off, yeah. and like my dick looks bigger because I lost weight even around there. I know, you know? jerking off in unique positions could be your thing. Like, yeah, sideways. Well, he, he does come everywhere. Every city that he right. goes to, he has to come in. So that could, I mean, if we did it now, you still have Europe. Are you bored just coming, you know, into your belly button, basically? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got to pick enough. a different. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to do like, you're doing a push up and you're jerking off or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like flip your legs over your head and shoot it on your forehead or something. <laughs> you know, I've never seen somebody do hit a leg press machine and then jerk off as they're doing it. Oh, you know, there like, you go. Work out, <laughs> jerking off. It's like an extra <laughs> workout too. Yeah. This That's is a whole. Idea. This is great, Tom. How this much are you going to charge though? It should be a premium. I think there's just like a one time kind of. There's a regular well, fee. Well, it depends. I can. Well, you've brought. You're talking to the right guy. Okay. 
let me tell you okay. how you can maximize your profits. Okay, hold on a second. Let yeah. me sit up. Yeah. So you get them in with a monthly. Now I'll take notes out there, everyone. Okay. Please, you get them in with the monthly price. Okay. And, and then what, you throw a little. That? That's like your just your subscription. For you, you got to make it good. Twenty five bucks wow. is a monthly fee. Yes. Okay. I that's mean that's high. that's high, right? Yeah. So now you're given. You, this is access to your timeline. And on it, you have to give nice things to keep them into it. Keep them into the 25 bucks. But then in the DMs, you're mass DMing your subscribers pay-per-views. And those can be pricey because that's where they get the full load. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I mean, mean like you get the full, you jerk off, you come, you eat it, whatever you want to do. Right. That's where like the maximized profits come. I love this. It sounds like you're, you're, you're not satisfied, Josh, creatively with just him coming. Like you need to up the stakes a little. It sounds like sure. There's got to be. You got to put some bells and whistles on it. Mm. Some frills. Gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come into a bucket. Come into yeah. a sure. A bottle, like maybe I don't know. Um, targets. That's cool. Maybe you you want you do the workout thing. You put egg weights on your wrists and jerk off. Or oh something, yeah. You know, dude. We should. All right. Let's talk more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got a whole. Um, I got ideas for days. I love talking about the dating life and yeah. the dating game. And we actually found somebody who gives great advice. Love it. So I thought I maybe some. I'd share it with you. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this is one you could definitely play right here. How to get a woman with the out of town game. <laughs> this one right here is pretty fucking good. I have used this one before, so it is what it is. Basically, all it requires you to do is when you're on a date with a woman or when you meet a woman on a dating site, you go ahead and let her know. You ain't from here. You're just a visitor. You'll be here for another week or two. This is psychologically registered in her brain that the sexual advances are going to be spared up. And you won't look like a creep for doing this shit either. Um, Also, if you cheating on your woman or something, this is also a good one to use because this gives you an outing to get a hotel room. You say you out of town, you're visiting your parents, and right now you're living at your parents' house. You really don't want to bring nobody back to your parents' house. So it gives you a reason to get a hotel room. Boom. You can also use this one for people that flake on you. Mm. If she texts you back an hour later at 9 o'clock saying she overslept or some shit like that, just say fine. You know, (laughs) it's too bad we couldn't have that much fun fun before I left town. You never know what you might get out of that. What do you think, man? I love that. I mean, hey, I feel like I've lived that. I mean, and I am from out of town. You are. The out-of-town game works. No, he's not wrong. He's just taken my actual existence and put it into a (laughs) I don't go anywhere. Yeah. Like, he's like, I'm not really going out of town, but I play it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the game you play. Do you do it in person? Well, he's on the or road. Or yeah, I mean, game. it's just I, I exist out of town. So it yeah. does work, though. It does speed up the, like, hey, are we doing this or not? Yeah, yeah. This, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. And you do, don't have to, you, have to, like, pretend to care and all that Right, bullshit. exactly. Yeah. You and can you do that just in DMs, or does it have to be face-to-face? I like a little face-to-face. I mean, DMs are scary. I don't. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I just, I've, I mean, it's been now, it's like I'm a war torn veteran, but sometimes you meet up with a lady and it's, uh, they're a little cuckoo. You know mm. what I mean? And then you gotta, now you're with them. Yeah. What You happens? can't really see that in the DMs all the time. So do you, do you, reg, is it pretty quick when you're like, oh, fuck? Like she's kind of, is it pretty yeah. quick? You know, you get there and the eyes are a little and you're like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> This one might be not dealing with a full deck here. Now, if when I if I were in your position, <laughs> yeah. my main thought is like I need an out, right? Oh yeah. So well, what, that's the out of town thing. You go like, ah, my plane. You know, turns out I got to get back for a meeting. Yeah. You say meeting a lot. I don't have any fucking meetings. Yeah. <laughs> not to blow up my own spot. So if you yeah. hear a meeting, I don't like you. You're a dildo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're a daffodil if, you, if I have a meeting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Where, well, now, when they're that crazy, do you still go, I'll try to hook up and just get out of here? Or do you go, like, oof, this might not be I mean, there are times that. you get sad and you're like, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, well, you know. Here's here a, we are. Here's a really, <laughs> here's one that I think oh, okay. you're really going to dig because uh, we really all responded to this one. How to keep a woman with the narcissistic game. This might be the most evil form of game known to mankind. Sure is. I've gotten kept by it, a few. it works. So go a little something like this. And by the way, if you use this, you're an asshole. <laughs> but anyway, it worked like this. When you meet a woman, you'd be extremely charismatic and extremely charming at the beginning of the relationship. Your words are only used to disguise what you actually here for. If she's in a city that she uh, has a support system, 
You have to get her away from that city. That's why you got to build that strong bond. If your bond is strong enough Jesus. and you get her isolated, that's when you start step number three. This is the emotional teardown. You start tearing down the way she looks, starting with her weight, her facial features. You start telling her how good your ex was and this and that. Oh, At this point, she's shit. already too deep embedded to you. You can make her feel so worthless to the point where she actually feels Fuck. like you might be the only one that she deserves. It's evil as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's how, like... <clears throat> People who have gotten charged with, I mean, I, what it was a documentary I just saw where, like, a guy just went into, like, his daughter's dorm and got all the people in the dorm to, like, fuck and, like, made, like, a sex cult. What? Wow. And then he ended up, like, just doing the same thing, like, breaking them down. Emo That's what cult leaders do, right? They yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> sure. It's all, it's all a mind game. Yeah. Get them Damn. away from their families yeah. and everything they care about. Isolate. You yeah. got, if you don't mind, would you just do this and report back to us? Just no, I feel like I've had it done uh, to, to me. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's seductive. I've, you know, it is crazy when you're so, in it. So how do they in the beginning that you get love bombed, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're just like, oh my god, you're the you're the most amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so into you. And then so they that, take it away. This that's is a what, red flag. Um, yeah. That's yeah. what the army hammer doc was about too. This is what he would do. So would he start out with I'm love bombing? Eat your torso. No, <laughs> he, <laughs> you he, the opposite. To that, yeah. Oh, I see. He, so he, I thought that was his. Love it was bomb. all about <laughs> charm, all about you know. It's, I want to be with your and like so he seduce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take them on trips, which is a form of isolation. You know, get them away. Yeah, and then dial up, like, well, this is what I'm into. You know, and then they were like, I don't know, if I want to do this, and he's like, stop being a bitch. You know. <laughs> You want to I mean, fly home? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I just want to cut you up and get crack your, your ribs. finger off. <laughs> but yeah. that that okay, that whole thing he's talking about too. Very important piece of business. I had an ex boyfriend who would bring up his ex girlfriend too and be like, mm. "Gosh, I just went. Oh my god, we were hanging out one night and he goes, "God, I really miss I I really miss Jill." And really? I was like, excuse Ew. me? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. You know, we used to have this ritual where we would watch SNL together every Saturday night. And I just, I really miss her. And I was like, you fucking piece of shit. I'm way better than Jill. Like, yeah, as yeah. a 20-year-old girl, you don't go like, yeah. oh, you're a piece of shit. I'm done. Right. You go like, oh, how can I be better than that girl? Mm -hmm. Why? Which is fucking evil. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And he picked on my weight. Jesus. Because Jill was... Skinny? So skinny. Oh, yeah. I just uh, wish you were light as Jill. <laughs> you know, I, could, uh, I could pick Jill up and yeah. eat her out way up here. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you should man. have seen the positions I could put Jill in. Wow. Oh, man. So bad. <laughs> just throw those out there. Yeah. Oh, so evil. But he's right. If you're insecure, which I was, that will fucking rope you right That's in. That's fucked up. Yeah. I, see, I always, I mean, I, this is how dumb I am. I always thought those were the things like, oh, I don't want to like be an asshole. Of course. And then you say, say like nice things and they're like, I have the ick. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I was nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. We're the same <laughs> in that regard. Yeah. I was because I would hear I would friends would you'd hear sometimes like you just got to be an asshole. I'm like, this doesn't register to me. What do you mean? Right. Because they're doing shit like this. And it obviously works, but it works on a certain type of girl, too. Oh, but yeah. I was just like nice, Damaged. and then I would hear like, "Why are you so nice?" Exactly. I mean, I then know. I met uh, him sorry. after having the experiences I had, and I was like, "You're nice," yeah. and like, you liked I, it. I loved it. Yes, I loved nice. I married nice, and I made two babies with nice. Nice. There you is go. The best. How old were you when you figured that out? Twenty. No, no, no. So after that guy, I had a nice guy after mm. for years, and then a nice guy. So I, I went after, that was the last piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. The only, actually the only piece of shit I had. Also, Sorry. I'm 37. It's like, I'm tired. Yeah. 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 I'm b tired of, uh, we got to play, I don't want to talk to you too much or too little. You know what I mean? It's all nonsense. We're 30s. <laughs> We're in our 30s. It's no. different now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, that guy was an anomaly, actually. Everybody yeah. I dated was good. And then I think I just got into like a low place. Mm. And then that was like a mistake. Yeah, but before me, you also had. Oh, no. <laughs> you know? He was a nice one. He was a good yeah. one. Yeah. Sweet. The... Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Chinese, okay? Yeah. Sorry. Just fucking say it. I didn't know which. I didn't want to misgender his Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet guy. Yeah. 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 Still good human. 
solid citizen. Solid citizen. It's just maybe solid maybe just, citizen. Yeah. He is. It's a good dude. Solid citizen of another country, but um, no, it's American. He's yeah, born right. In America. Yeah, bullshit. Like yeah. any of them are. Um, <laughs> he was sweet. He was. He would never say anything to me like that. Like you're fat, or like I just miss my ex. girl Like never. Good guys never would say shit like that. Oh, it's Jill good. would get just the salad. <laughs> <laughs> God, never, oh, Jill never got appetizers. Yeah, <laughs> weird. So How wild. are you still hungry? <laughs> but then, what's interesting is that one time we went to dinner with his family, and his dad was fat shaming him, and him. he was by no means fat. Wow. So now I saw, like, oh yeah, because you came from an. Abusive. How did his dad? Do He's like, it, this then? is how we show love in my family. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so his dad would be like, looking a little heavy there. Like you're not as thin as you used to be. Who cares? What are you trying to fuck me, Dad? <laughs> That's what I'd say. <laughs> That's so weird, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what do you? Yeah. Who, what do you care? I like, know. you see that I'm getting laid, right? I'm yeah, hitting yeah. my girlfriend. So I'm what a do you dude. Give a fuck? What are you gay? You're the gayest dad anyone's ever yeah, had. Stop being yeah. gay and talking about my weight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? You don't want my gut to hit your head when you're blowing me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking weird dad. You're the weirdest dad yeah. of all. That is weird up. that his dad weird. would comment on the son's weight. Because doesn't the dad usually comment on the daughter's weight? My Music. dad never yes. did, That's thankfully. That's still creepy and weird, yeah. though. It's weird. It is fucking creepy yeah. and weird. That's how you create eating disorders, yeah? Exactly. If you're like, mm, look a little chunky there. Oh, my little girl, not so little anymore, huh? <laughs> look at those big old fucking milk duds on Call your chest. Call her my wide girl now. <laughs> <laughs> So creepy. LOL, right? Oh. They're like, <laughs> but I did watch my dad fat shame my stepmom, which was pretty cool. Really? Yeah. Well, that's just fun. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Also, it's your stepmom, so you don't really <laughs> yeah, yeah, care. Yeah. I don't even fuck, bitch. But like, um, yeah, because she she put on a few lbs during my, like yeah. early my, like obvi. You well, know? Sometimes you do it out of concern. Of over fourteen years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, weight. it was a long yeah. time. Yeah, they were together a long time, and she was like in her forties, and he was like. I told you I don't like this, okay? Like, he would flat out be like, I told you I don't find this attractive when you're heavy. Like, Hey, this. that's actually better than just doing the, like, shitty little, like, oh, I remember when you fit into those pants or something like that, you know? like those, He's direct. Yeah, I like, I like that better where it's just like, hey, you're getting a little gross and maybe we tighten it up a little bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is, I don't, I don't <laughs> get a little gross. You <laughs> get a little gross. Not I don't lie. Know. It would be cool if you just kind of, like... Got it, got it fit a little better. Yeah. I don't think there's any good way to tell somebody they've gained weight. Is there a good no, way? No, there to is hear a good it? way. There, there is, is a good, good way. way. Yeah. Okay. The, the way that you like, I'll tell you what I resented, and I've I've just saw somebody else do it, and I won't say who, but I was like, oh, this is what this is what I think you ultimately resent when you look back on it, is when you need to lose weight, and someone's like, you look good, actually, mm. I, I think you look pretty, and I, when you, and you're at your worst. Like you're at your worst and someone's like, I, I think you look pretty good because they're saying it out of like, I don't want you to feel bad about how you right. look. But what you need is a friend or someone mm -hmm. close to you to be like, as your friend, like Josh, yeah. as your friend, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I care about you, <laughs> yeah, okay. right? Yeah. Dude, you need to go, you need to start exercising. Think, is you need to lose weight. Real? No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. no, 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 not a, not I, nice. I, you're I'm, not having I'm telling you as an example, you. No, you was this an intervention? No, no. no. <laughs> you actually you do look you great. Did look good. You look you really good. Thank you. You lost weight from the last time I've seen you. I have, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm making the point as a, as an example, like how I would say it if I was like you you need it. Right, to, right, right, right. I would be like just as, I'm your buddy. I've been there. I would just tell you I've been there. You need to do it. You need to get on it. That's friendship. Yes, that exactly. The the fucked up thing would be like if you weighed forty pounds more and someone made a comment and you're like I feel bad and I go don't listen to them. You look great. Man. Right, right, right. That's actually the thing. That ultimately, when you did lose the weight, you go, I wish in your head you'll be like, I wish you would hadn't said you look great. Also, when you know it, too, when you're like, I know you're lying. Yeah, yeah, you, like, exactly. Just shut up, dude. Because <laughs> I knew, and I just saw somebody do it to somebody else who I was like, I was like, don't do it. Don't fucking mm. say that, man. You're, you're, you're putting it in that dude's head that he's fine and he's not. not. It's I enabling. I have to know who it yes. is. Will you tell me off mic? Of course, of course. Fuck. Yeah, I, I think you want, I think you want, here's the thing, you want directness, but you don't want it, you don't necessarily want it to be mean. Right. You, but you want it to be reality. Yeah. You want it to be truth. There is, 
a difference between that and making shitty comments. <laughs> totally. Yeah. You know what I mean? But don't you feel um, like you know when you're overweight? You know it, but you're just not of course. doing anything yet. But that's you're why, not ready Here's yet. the thing. You know it, and you're like, I don't, you know, I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight. And what you're doing is you're kind of like, it's like you're looking around the room. And you're like, do other people know I'm fat? <laughs> um, right? Yeah. And then I go Have like, noticed? I'm yeah. like, do I need to? And then you go, no, nah, did you look good? And I'm like, oh, okay. And yeah. I look over here. How do I look? And you're like, I think you look great. And I'm like, oh, all right. And then you just go, I can kind of keep my delusion going. Well, yeah, then your uh, the field goal post moves or whatever. You yes, know? and yes. it's like, oh, I can, I'm good right here. Okay, I'm good. I can I'm let good. it slip a little more, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, I heard the best thing on this podcast yesterday. This guy was overweight for many, many years and never worked out and just like drank and was a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And um, two bears, one cave. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, this is a chill fucking fun. show yeah. with Bert. Yeah. Um, but I heard the best, the best reason that he stopped drinking and he got into shape, and he said. I was sick and tired of losing all the time. Huh. Of feeling like a loser all the time. I haven't you get watched sick that. Sick uh, and tired of it. I thought that, that was a really good, it's a good way one. of thinking. You're like, oh yeah, that's what that is. You're, to articulate it that way. It's a good one. You're always losing. Yeah. It's like that whale Oof. movie. I haven't watched it. I yeah. would never watch that. <laughs> yeah. What a white bummer. Talk about a white. <laughs> it's a real fucking, white bummer. It's yeah. about an obese person. No thanks. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's all they should have got a real obese person though. That's one thing I, I didn't enjoy. Yeah. I think Brent, Brendan Fraser oh. should be canceled for not being actually <laughs> that way. Well, I feel like there's that TLC show with the two sisters. That's depressing. They could have got a. We have plenty of people that look like that in America. <laughs> I'm sure one of them is an actor. And you know, the, uh, oh, the, and the so truth sweet, is too though. that like when you encounter somebody like this in real life that looks like this. I have, you are. Wait, uh, like, where do you do God, that? Like, get the <laughs> no. fuck away from me. You know? uh, you're going to a lot of Jesus. IHOPs these days? What are you encountering <laughs> these people? <laughs> you know, you see them and you're like, God, I don't want that fucking even energy near wait, me. Wait, so is the whole movie a total white bummer? Like, is it just like. Sad, I haven't seen sad, it because I, uh, I don't want to see it either because it's but just a yeah. sad fat guy of and he, uh, I think he cries a lot. And, yeah, he does. Uh, he and it's about himself. him like, I'm going to lose a, a little weight that he yeah. doesn't probably. He, I don't think. He. <laughs> I think it just ends with a heart attack. <laughs> he's he's super little sad little. because you're supposed to be if you look like it. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be super sad if, you, <laughs> if this is your existence. That's what. That's the honesty of the movie is that you hate yourself and you yeah. should. The, he cries because he. Uh, I I have to walk today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the struggle is to get the yeah. paper. That's the whole movie. I haven't seen it. I don't. And know. he's got a kid in the movie. A you know, oh, he's got a daughter. He and, fucked a person. Well, years prior, <laughs> years, yeah, and then she's years, just yeah. like, "You're fucking gross, dude." And he's like, "I, I know." And she's like, "Why are you such a fucking loser? Just stop eating." <laughs> and then, oh, I know. Okay, and then the the climactic ending is like you see him get up out of his chair, toilet chair, and then yes. both knees snap. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, I can do it. And then yeah. he takes like two steps and then <sighs> it goes out. Yeah. And then she can help him. Like she can help him breathe again. She's like, just let him die. <laughs> let my dad suffocate in the rug. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna need on a forklift to get him out anyway. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, Do you think it's like, and also like scenes of all the family calling him fat and abusing the crap out of him? Well, I hope there's just that. scenes of just his day to day. I want to see him wash. They don't. There's no way. Oh, of course, oxygen. Fucking. <laughs> no, but see, here's here's the thing. This guy needs what we were talking about. That's what the character needs. The character go needs people not to be as mean as we're being. Not to be like, hey, you fucking load of shit. You're gonna die. Yeah, but he Stop needs it. people go like, hey, if you're wondering, if you're wondering, <laughs> do I look good? You don't. Confirmed. You look like a piece of shit. Yeah. You don't God look damn good. It. Can I tell you something, Tom? I Everybody give you hates full you. permission to tell me, okay? To tell you that you look like this? Yeah. You'd never see me if you got close <laughs> to this. You don't have to worry about that. Long gone. <laughs> <laughs> you Josh be, Potter. You'd be halfway down a cliff. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get around a cliff. Josh Potter, <laughs> would you rather yeah. you be 400 pounds or your spouse? Oh, my God, pounds? me. By a mile, what are you talking about? That she would, <laughs> she would want to fuck me still. 
my spouse at 400 yeah, you guys yeah. have the same relationship so i'd rather be 400 i don't care about my organs and i don't want to fuck is she hot yeah sweet she's your wife she's... i'll take the 400 pounds to fuck a hot lady and just you, but but the reasoning that was an, that was being an easy one. that was like a slam dunk you, but the reasoning being that you just don't want to look at an unattractive yeah i'd yes, rather exactly that. she asked me yeah. this and i was like yeah that i'm 400 yeah. yeah but but the reason being because i don't want to look at you fat yeah so it's yeah. crazy and then people are like that fat fuck has that hot lady <laughs> yeah exactly other way around they're like josh have some pride, dude. First of all, <laughs> you realize that if you were 400 pounds, I would let you die in front of me. Like, yeah. Well, but hold on, but hold on. But when, at, at that what, point, how do you do it? You just feed her more so yeah, she goes out the more. other side. Yeah. And then yeah, when I hear her breathing kind of fade, I'd just be like, I left something in the other room. And I kind of just walk away. You pinch the apnea machine. <laughs> hold yeah. on. At what point do you give me a talking to? Is it 200 pounds? We are kind of like, hey, babe. Yeah. Babe, <laughs> you're getting you're getting more than I'm. I'm beyond gentle at two at two bills with you. Should we go to a doctor? That's what you said. <laughs> no, what I do is like, I would be like, hey, pack your bags, and then I'd go on a drive, and then you're like, where are we going? And I'd be like, well, actually, it's where you're going, and then I would just park in front of like you know Doctor Now's the, office, the Fat Boys like... Camp, and I'd just be like, this is where you're spending the next month. I'll see you then, and just fucking oh, peel you're, out. You're trying to save cool. her with like a. Rehab. Yeah, I'd send her to like a like a real like a real camp. Because I was gonna. Like it seemed like I would do camp. that. I would yeah. do that now. That would be fun. Is there a fat camp I could go to? Boot I camp. think so. Yeah, for sure there are. There's places. Not like, like but I want to sleep. They there. restrict your eating and they make you work out like six hours. That's a day. what I want. Yeah, That's what I want. Those. Yeah, you don't have to go for a fucking month. You crazy? <laughs> well, how long would I have to go for? Well, how long do you want to go for? Ten pounds. That wouldn't take that long. A couple weeks. No, well, that would be unhealthy. It's like, what if it's like a summer camp too? It's like you I get can't to stay sit away by from the my kids. Maybe I'll do this. Um, it's a great idea. Yeah, but, but you could just get. I mean, that's what you're talking about. Is you just want a trainer. Why don't you just work out with a I trainer? Yeah, yeah. At the I end of the day, do. it's like you're like, oh, I just have to go to the gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want to <laughs> sleep there. You know what it is? You don't like. Doesn't feel good. That's what you don't like. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Wait, yeah. why would it feel good at a camp? Because all you're doing, you have no choice. Well, no, no. Here's the like difference the too. Army? Here's the difference too. If I could go sleep away somewhere, I'm not up all night with sick kids. Mm. Yeah, I'm not right. having children to take care of, basically, or traveling or podcasting. Like I could just dedicate myself for like two or three weeks, just fitness. That'd That's be what rad. I would like to have, like a movie deal, like Christian Bale, where it's like you have to be Batman. So he's like, yeah. I guess I'm just working out constantly yeah, just for your like job. the next five months. This is why I want a That'd nude be scene. Cool. Um, yes. I talked to Bill Burr about this one time. We were, we were actually at a gym. This is when we lived in Silver Lake. And we were, I was working out and we were just talking about like, you know, weight. But he's like, dude, dude, <laughs> you know. He's like, if you had a love scene, he's like, you know, you'd get in shape for it, right? Because you're like, this is going to be on the big screen. It's going to be forever. Sure. Yeah. And that is the thing. Like, if you're like, I have a nude scene or a love scene, you're like, you'd, you would just be like, oh, I, there I is can't something allow again myself. to the alphaness of being like, can you believe I'm fucking this chick when I, I look, look like this? this? Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> <true>. <laughs> that is totally God damn, that, dude. Um, here, guess. your favorite. Oh, here okay, we go. All right, all right. I won't play my own fucking role. Lady Gaga. This is all right. Oh, wow. Oh, that's hot. What, is she puking on her? <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. Is that Taylor Momsen? Who is that? She's puking on her? Yeah. That's lime green, though. Yeah. So, I mean, she put that in there. Yeah, she put that. it in there. It's more like she just blew a Performance artist guy. Millie Brown. That's stupid. This is less puke and more like, I just blew a guy, and this is like the loads yeah. I have in my... Pretty cool, man. Yeah, that mm. was cool. That was pretty yeah. hot. Can I get that one for later? Yeah, I sure. I will yeah. say that I do. I like her more now because that's punk as fuck. Yeah. I mean, I, I hey, will. Look give, at you. I, hey, coming credit, around. Look, Gigi Allen. I was a huge fan of just the antics of like you know rubbing shit on your body or t rubbing a coke can on your chest and bleeding. I think that I, I give mad props. All yeah, right. that was cool. Music. And it was wow. lime green. It wasn't like real puke. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of cool. Vaguely pornographic. Yeah, I, I did not it. expect that, of all things, a puke video would convert Christina into complimenting <laughs> Lady Gaga. Is that Lady Gaga? Yeah, it's Lady Gaga right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Play, the one singing, getting puked on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is high-level shit. 
Yeah, yeah. I kind of like. Who's the other girl? Millie Brown, you said. Millie, not Millie Bobby Brown from no, the Netflix no, 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 no. show. But it's Millie say. Brown, you said, right? Yeah, it yeah says performance Millie artist. Brown. Yeah. Oh, it UK happened in Austin. Artist. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Mad this is Pops, another. Homie. This is one that. Um, that's pretty funny. This is a uh, Lady Gaga. So we've been playing a lot of Lady Gaga stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Um, just because she's a you know big phony in a lot of her shit. Oh okay. And, yeah. Um, it's funny because when someone has that kind of fan base. There's always some backlash to talking shit about oh, them. Just oh, like when, sure. we, when we started playing Gar stuff, people would be like, I don't, I don't think you know what, what a good guy is. Have you guys. heard yeah. Thunder Rolls? <laughs> he's a, he's hey, a great are, man. A lot of people are getting butt hurt DMing me like, about Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga did so much good. Like, I, like, yes, you can do good in the world and still be an insufferable twat. Yeah. Sure. Um, it, both things are compatible. This is really, because this one here, you actually really have to pay attention. It's all in body language and facial, you know, uh, um, oh God, expressions. I mm. I can't but believe. here's here, so here's what happens. We'll watch it a few times. Right here, photographer falls. <laughs> oh, she did so much. Did to you help see him. it? It's really yeah. quick. So, so go you to it. Yeah, so. she's walking in one direction. A photographer is walking in front of her and crossing her path. And just after he crosses her path, he falls. And she notices, so, so her facial expression gets wide open, like, oh, my God. And she runs back to help him, basically. And he's already on his way up. And as he comes up, he, you know, he's got his camera in one hand, and his right hand goes on to her hip, like basically kind of an exposed hip in the dress that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he gives her like a double pat thank you. And her expression goes to like, oh, my God. Yeah. Do not this man touch me, peasant. just groped wow. me. Yeah. yeah, like right there, he's, okay, she's like, "Are you hip. okay?" And his hands on her hip. He's just trying to get his uh, balance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, I and it's know. also like kind of natural where you're like, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Usually, if, if it were a guy, oh, it'd probably be the shoulder. Over. Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't think it's that. I don't think. And that's then out she's of like, line. looks at her own hip, like, <gasps> "Oh yeah. my lord!" He's like, she, he fucking touched me. That peasant touched me. He just groped me. At the same time, if you're that guy, he's like. He's like, I got a piece of that big, fat, juicy lady. I grabbed that ass over there. Jeez. That yeah, she lady did dumper. The whole, yeah. She did I did the that whole, whole, I did the, uh, I fell on on accident. I'm going to goo goo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to goo goo on her gaga later. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. I mean. Thank you. Yeah, he's like. Oh, look at her. Look uh, at that. Oh, she went like this. Uh, she was like, ew, you oh, touched me? God. Oh, this lowly what photographer. Uh, light my dress on fire now, please. Yeah. Like <laughs> Well, and also if you look at the dress, I under it does it it looks like her butt's exposed a tad? Is that the fabric? Yeah. So the fabric goes hold on, the fabric goes down and under kind of her butt a little bit. Yeah. So if he were to be actually polite, he's gonna touch above where that fabric is so that he's not touching the fabric. And she probably took offense, like, Are you touching my ass? Well, Yes, sweetie, your ass is out. Yes. Yeah. And he was just trying, like, I don't, but I don't see it as inappropriate. Like, he literally Hi was everybody. like. everybody. Oh, boy. Um, is that her Thank again? you so much for coming to the Chromatica Ball. And the Chromatica Ball. We really tried yeah. to finish the show tonight in Miami, but we couldn't because. We couldn't. Even when the rain sort of stopped, there was lightning that was striking right down to the ground where are the actual tears no tears yeah i don't see tears. this i've been with uh these before yeah the fake t like i'm i'm crying uh, but I'm yeah not. you're like we're in our you're an adult you have a so child. close to us and <laughs> i know that for a really long time I, I, i've always wanted to be like that hardcore bad bitch but what I really want is to also be responsible and loving. It took so much <laughs> in my heart to get back to a place where I could perform and be healthy. Still not seeing any tears. I mean, I don't, she's barely sniffling. Yeah. I know. It's a good act. This is why you did so well in House of Gucci. Yeah, this is And I hope you know that part of why I decided not to finish the show was because... I am healthy, and it's a healthy decision for all of you. Okay. Mm, so. I mean, and also imagine the audacity that your concert means that much to somebody, that they're going to be like, oh, I can't fucking go on because she had to stop her show early <laughs> in Miami. Like, 
nobody's that. And if they are that affected, you they've got like, mental you, problems. Yeah, you shouldn't play into the fact that people are like, oh, this was my whole existence, this <laughs> yeah. concert. Like, I would be like, all right, well, that's scary. Yeah. I don't like that at all. No. Like, if you had to cancel a show and someone was like, you ruined my whole fucking... It's happened a couple times. All the time it happens, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. But I'm saying, like, you're not going to go on Instagram and be like, Jeff, <laughs> I'm so sorry I couldn't come to Wisconsin. No, no dude. Hey, guess what? The show's rescheduled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll, relax. You'll, or you'll get your money back. Get your money back. Yeah. Oh, you flew here? Well, that's life. Sometimes things get canceled. Yeah. Like, get it together, man. <laughs> get your fucking shit together. Yeah, have fun in, in Miami anyways. It's yeah. a big city. I've, I've showed places. up to shit that you get. You know what? Disappointment's part of life. Right, you, yeah. You go to things and you're like, wait, this is closed? I thought, you know. Exactly. I thought this place was open. No, it's closed. That's, they closed early today. Fuck. Damn it. And then you're like, I guess I'm eating pizza or whatever. Like you just fucking, you make an adjustment. Yeah. I was going to go see Theory of a Dead Man one time and <laughs> they didn't show up and Biff Naked came mm. and I was like, I don't know who the hell that is. I watched him anyway. Yeah. There you go. You're Moved grown up. with my life. And you were like, yeah. Chromatica forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, have you heard about old shit eyes? Do you know who this is? <laughs> me? Is yeah. that me? Uh, well, <laughs> it's a brother. <laughs> okay. Uh, we found Shit this guy, eyes. and we've been um, we've been loving this. So I wanted to show you because I feel like it'll be near and dear to your heart too. <laughs> Justin, I really like your videos, and I hope you continue to do them. Um, and me being blind, please, I'd appreciate you um, doing them to where I can hear. And you know, I'd like you to turn the recorder on when you go into the bathroom, and uh, let me hear you undo your belt, pull your pants down, set the <laughs> toilet seat down. And oh, all the sit noises. down and do a good stream of pee in the water and a good shit. Um, and for me, since I can't see, if you could describe what what it looks like in the toilet. Oh God, I can't wait to get to this point. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what this guy yeah. really loves. Oh, the sounds. Yeah, and he I likes to know the details. You like, know like, what? Like she was like, oh, shit. in the whole. Uh, quest to make me come she was like i think you're an auditory person and she was like this doing a lot of stuff in my ear Re did it work oh yeah oh it did oh well, it worked to to a degree i mean it, it was fun has I mean, there been any evolution in i have May done Josh it a couple Trump? times what what wait the what the i started yeah, doing the right breath stingers. work Gosh. really this is a ymh exclusive a lot of therapy really so hold on you came you a couple times just... yeah what, how? What? T tell us everything. Yeah. Well, it turns out trust is a thing. Hey. <laughs> and uh, actually, so like recently, I I did in a girl. In a girl. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it was awesome. Don't get me wrong. But then you know we stopped hanging out. So you're like, ah, oh, shit. But we did like the casual hookup after the fact, mm -hmm. and she did this thing where like we were doing you know sex. Her dirty talk was like, you haven't fucked anybody else, have you? And I was like, no. She's like, it would devastate me if you fuck someone else. And I'm like, this is like during sex. This is like the dirty talk. I'm like, yeah. I haven't, I promise. I, you know. Yeah. And then after the sex, I go, hey, by the way, have you fucked anybody else? And she was like, inappropriate question. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute. Like, wait, wait, wait. She goes, that was dirty talk. You can't hold me to dirty talk. I'm like, wait, so you wouldn't care if I fuck someone. I'm like, yeah, all yeah. over the place. So yeah, it might take another minute here so, to get it reloaded. And because this was a theory when we first learned about this, <laughs> yeah, that it was an intimacy thing. Yeah, and it is. Trust yeah. is part of intimacy. Yeah, so, so I've been doing and I do breath work. I, uh, I one place where I I did it where I wasn't too intimate. Uh, I got a a blowjob in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I did it into a mouth. Wow. She was just really like savage though i mean it was like i guess this is what it takes you know oh so she was really putting it on you but i also was doing like, no, I, was, I was doing breath work i was like i can feel the blowjob in my toes i can feel it in oh. my knees you know like i was you were connecting to yes. the experience so so in the past would you dissociate from what was happening I, yeah i would be like oh god i got a flight at eight uh, you know like i would go somewhere really? else you wouldn't enjoy the you most must, yes. there must have been some girls that really felt badly about themselves They're yeah like, are you seriously not going to come and you're like not with you tons of them yeah. and it, it, before i understood it what was going on they would be like what you don't like me am i not hot you know and i'm like <laughs> i guess i guess not 
What a great lesson to women listening that yeah. if you're ever with a guy and it's not maybe it's not you. It could yeah, be. have your fun. Get off. And I mean, it's it happens for women all the time. I hear it all the time. Women are like, I've never had an orgasm with a man. And it's sure. like, that's more common, but it is the inverse is true, too. It is true. Yeah. So that dirty talk really worked on you, though. You like that. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't. I know it, it. I now I might have like PTSD from that. Oh, but at the time, experience. yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think you're gay. You like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You put so on too. some weight. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're just a little gay boy, aren't you? The video, Anthony shitting, August twenty third. <laughs> August twenty third. He's logging. Twenty oh eight. <laughs> Um, that was inter- interesting. The audio was really great on that. Interesting. Uh, name is Bob. I wouldn't mind you uh, doing some Shit. more uh, videos like that and sending them to my channel. I like that kind of humor. It was fun. Humor. Uh, a lot of these videos on here is too much clutter and noise and stuff like that. And um, I'd be interested to, to know what you were showing in the picture since I'm a blind person. So this is, you know, this is in the cards for you. Yeah. Do you think that you'll get into maybe hearing those sounds one day? I don't know about those sounds, but sounds for sure. I'd be like, you know, unzip your zipper. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, let's hear, make the pussy wet, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, let's get that sure. pasta stirred up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear those. I'm going to need the description of, you know. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Here, we have a new one. So we, <laughs> That's pretty cool. we, so say, wild, we saved the new one of his for you. Oh, shit. Yeah, Hi, shit this is Bob. <laughs> um, I'm doing a uh, video from my cam. Yeah. My webcam. We know. Oh, okay. I appreciate I you getting yeah. back with me the other night. You, um, you're you one of the few that that have. And I, oh, we have seen I, this one. We would appreciate your understanding and cooperation. Yeah. Never mind. Um, please do share whenever you got to take a shit. Um, <laughs> I like every shit is different. Every shit um, is different. That's, that's right. Like hey, that's true. Profound. Loose ones, solid ones, whatever, gassy ones, farts. Yeah. Um, I don't want you to do the laxative thing anymore, obviously. I mean, that's obviously. Yeah. What you put yourself through. And, of course, <laughs> the <laughs> throwing up part. Those are weather updates because he's also oh, into aviation. Yeah. My forte, I, wow. I don't like that's hearing people throw up. It's scary to me. Yeah. Um, He's into aviation. He, he loves can't... aviation videos too. Oh my yeah. god! But oh. now it makes so much sense. If everything is auditory, yeah. that's why he puts them on a, that all in the same level of hierarchical needs or whatever. There's yeah. no shame because they're all. It's all audit. You know, it's all yeah. one sense. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, I like and he doesn't want you to. Cat. Sounds like he doesn't want you to shit in front of him. He's just like, I like the video. I like hearing the. I don't sounds. like the smell of it. Yeah, I like the sound, the sound of it. Yeah. Let's get it straight. All right, I'm not a pig. <laughs> Get yeah. it straight. And why is he? Why, how come he's only talking to dudes about it? How come my woman oh. can't stand it? Well, because a dude has a certain kind of shit. I don't think he likes the like a. He doesn't want to hear like a ploop ploop. You know, you got to get a splashy one going. Yeah, he wants to hear a real is he, dump. Is he yeah. J and his D, or is it just for the oh. love of the poop? You know, I can't tell if he's aroused by it. It might be like an ASMR thing where he's like, "Ooh, it makes me tingly," and then he like puts yeah. a finger in his ass or something. Well, but. we spend a lot of time talking about you know that you have um, this degenerative. Yeah. condition your and your vision will get I don't know if your vision has gotten. it's gotten I just had a checkup and it's uh stable. Oh that's good. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. But I'm uh, finding out they're uh they're not making high index lenses anymore. Really? Yeah, Why? they're just stopping. Like so, you have to go to like a guild and all this shit like and get like an artisan to How like, come? Cuz there's not a high demand for them anymore. So these like you know, these glasses companies are not making high index lenses. They stop at a certain And yours help a great degree I'm assuming, right? Oh yeah, I yeah. would be fucked. Yeah, royally, I would be like, mm. all right, I, you know, olden times, you know, like I don't even know. <laughs> like, You'd be like, send me your shit videos. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd be this guy. I'm, yeah, I'd be like, please shit, so I can have, if I can feel something, <laughs> through hearing your shit fall into the toilet. Well, <laughs> we. Uh... <laughs> I am scared. I will forget what tits look like if I go blind. You know, like one of those things. But I will say, I will use that as a reason to feel them. Yes. I don't remember what tits look like. And then I could be like. <laughs> but this will be, <laughs> this will be, we talked about how you could easily get pranked. Oh, yeah. And how, oh, yeah. I'll be like, Josh, here's a big pair of tits in front of you. And uh, you'll be like, hey, this feels like a big dick. Yes. <laughs> we did say that it would be difficult for me not to get pranked. And to own that, I would have to just do prank porno. Prank porno. Where yeah. I'm in on it. Yeah. For real, but 
yeah. this audience doesn't we're like, know that what's in your mouth right now? And you're like, are these tits? And I'm like, sucking on a tit right now. And it's a dick. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we're just like, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of milk. from. The- <laughs> <laughs> so here's a blind guy talking about, um, I guess, what, what it's like, what he likes to touch, I think. Ooh. In other videos, I've talked about things I like to smell, things I like to hear. And now it's time to talk about things I like to touch. Dice, dice are cool to touch. First off, whatever they're made out of is, it, it's a neat material. I, I'm not quite sure what the heck that is. Mm-hmm. But then you can feel the, <laughs> the numbers on them and stuff, little holes and everything. That's, I like them. I like Gambling it. sometimes, right? You sit down at a blackjack table or a craps table, you feel the felt on the table. That's always nice to touch. That's true. Nothing oh better than God, touch a nice dude. big stack of 20s, right? Yeah. Fresh out of the ATM, those crispy bills. You can't even bend them yet. I love those. Yeah, he's got oh, an appreciation for those more than... Is yeah. he blind or has he just got his eyes closed? <laughs> he, he's just, he just woke up. Yeah. yeah. It's a bright light. God, if that's what happens... so much fun to touch. Uh, it's a mess. <laughs> it gets everywhere. But it's so soft and just feels so good. Flowers outside are nice to touch too, right? Like a rose, for example, is tremendous when it's, it's all big and fluffy and stuff. Oh think, my God, dude. If I go blind and I start talking, I'm like, have you touched a rose, man? Kill me. <laughs> Fucking just end it, dude. Be like, yeah, go walk this way and it's traffic because I do not want to be fucking... Tom, have you ever felt a rose? I'm like, oh, we really lost Josh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's so sweet. It is sweet, but it's too. It's, it's like, too oh no, Josh, you did you did some stuff in your life, and now you're touching a rose, and you're like, oh golly, yeah, <laughs> so exciting. Yeah, yeah. I think you would get a really good like uh, like sex game going though, of like you know, because you're funny and you you know you have a great oh, personality, and then I'd be I like, would be paranoid oh, that I can't was see blowing it. I would be like, you know, I'd be like, I got a girl to fuck me, and they'd be like, yeah, Josh, sure cool because it's not a, a track i wouldn't know what they look like i feel like that would fuck with me because you have yeah. your friends like, you have to have a trust factor with yeah. your friend i really do i mean but again they could be like yeah man she's so hot <laughs> you know but and then, somebody i mean you don't trust anyone to tell you the truth someone's gonna tell you the i'd truth. hope so yeah but i would be going around asking i'd, I'd like have to pull the room probably right, dude i'd be with you is she hot I'd man like, dude, go, <laughs> i would be like fucking, dude i do it to strangers because they would rottweiler right here don't get with her man <laughs> Yeah. But you could touch better. her face, like you could probably learn what people. I don't know that I'd be good at that. You'd probably get better if, if, if you know if you practiced. I wouldn't. How would I? Should you like, start practicing now? That's what I'm saying. While I can yeah. see. Yes. So I'm gonna start touching faces. You yeah, should start doing like, that. I'm just gonna just... go. I'll go. I'm just learning. What? <laughs> what a hot chick. Like, yeah, you just yeah, go yeah. to hot chicks. Be like, can, can I touch your face? Touch your face because I want to remember what a hot chick's face feels. That's like. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, I think it might work. That's a good line. <laughs> Especially if you do it to like a six, yes. it's really going to blow I, our mind. I might throw that one around a lot. And yeah. plus, you do need to touch some ugly faces so you know what you're encountering there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So I can go up to a two and be like, may I touch your beautiful, your beautiful face, face so I remember what And then you are like, oh like. yeah, the ones that go like this. Yeah, then I'm like. <laughs> Wonder me. And I go, okay, I register a two. Also, you could be like, yeah, I've never seen... You know, such perfect breasts, and I'm losing my vision. Do you mind so that I'll remember what yours feel like? <laughs> I did that in, in college quite you a bit. You did? I would, to get flashed, I would say, I'd be like, someday, I hope before I go blind, I can see tits as nice as yours. And they would be like, oh, here. See mine, yeah. It's happened so many times. Nice. I also need to feel what it's like to finger a tight little hole. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I didn't nice. try that one, but Jesus. it would have, if I had more balls on me, maybe. You know what one of my favorites is? When I get a really short haircut, to feel the back of my head, that just that short, short, short hair. He's right. These are all good. So cool. What if he's coming right now? That's why it looks like he's coming. I just love the way that feels. Oh my god, he's uh, he looks like he's he's about to nut. Yeah. In the winter time, right? A nice comfy sweater, just to feel it. Mmm, it's so good and so big and soft and good. Faded blue jeans are nice to touch, <laughs> this is right? Making a me good, sad. I mean, brand new jeans, yeah, not he, so much. The way he's describing things. They've been in the wash a couple of hundred times. Oh, so soft and good. And the best part about doing laundry, right, is taking clothes out of the dryer. It's so nice and warm, especially on a cold day, and then folding them up. Sometimes animals are nice, right? There's like a rabbit, a little bunny rabbit. So soft, the fur. Or you know what else? Like a kitty, like a little kitten. 
And then when they're not busy scratching you and trying to play with you all the time, if you get a chance to just pet them and touch them. Just pet those dogs, animals. Right? What if you got like, real coarse And a wet fur. pussy. Oh, boy. Like <laughs> until just you just feel so the soft ears. and warm. That is a nice touch. I could touch a dog's ear all day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one more. <laughs> Another thing I really enjoy is like with my feet to touch stuff, like to walk on the beach. I'd be love funny. to feel like, sand. On I my love feet. the feeling of my you know, own that, asshole. That fluffy <laughs> yeah. sand. Stroke my own asshole. Like my that would be great. Glands, that was and it's all packed down and cool and everything. That's nice to touch as well. <laughs> so hot load, load fresh long. out of your own right. penis <laughs> after you stroked your dick. <laughs> It's so warm, oh, it's, it's so sticky, warm and gooey, and, and you just let it dry on yourself, and then in the morning you peel it off. <laughs> oh, do you feel the flakes? They're so soft and <laughs> smelly. I like to put it in my coffee. Yeah, or if he's like, I like to fart in my own hand. <laughs> put that fart to my face. Sometimes I don't realize that I'm shit in my hand until it's all the way up to my face. It's so gooey and good. Mm. Warm. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, um, would you want to give uh, Josh the the full treatment? Fuck yeah, dog. Okay. Want to do some talks? Let's rock and roll. Let's rock. Hell and yeah, I missed the talks. Roll. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Best part of the day. Bitch, here we go. Here you go. He. Here you go. Oh fuck. Ooh. Getting ready for that wrestling match. Ugh. This guy's ripped. And I can love me better than you can. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Yo, this he's is a cool, new huh? fucking level for him. Mm. You know this guy? Yeah. He, he, we get we get his a lot, and he's always like he's always making like kind of sexual comments. He's always doing a creepy smile at the end. Usually he's like in he's at the gym. He's always the camera's always underneath him. And he's like <laughs> arm workout today, <laughs> <laughs> and he does that, but like shirtless, creepy and, old guy stuff. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love it. Also, it's always indoors with bad lighting. Do you think he ever gets his knob slob up? Sometimes I should hope so. I mean, yeah. he, look, he's seventy years old. Yeah, he's got it together for seventy. And yeah, he's he looks working great. out, and he's you know he's busy, he's yeah. active. He, he's, oh he's, my days! What are you wearing? <laughs> So the headpiece is actually a necklace from one of my friends, named is Case Mas, a young designer from Brussels. The other is like a motor jacket as a skirt and a car's protection that I used to use in my performing work. So, Fashion. Voila. And you're warm, right? It's quite warm. Yeah, yeah, it's really warm. It's really warm. It's kind of <laughs> what most women Tiring genuinely space. dream about is to have a partner that is one hand consistent, loving, that he feels safe and comfortable with, and on the other hand, is able to make her feel like a dirty little sometimes when the time is right. There you and go. I think this is something that a lot of men don't know exactly how to do. Either they are on the safe side of the spectrum, which is wonderful and is important for her nervous system and general well-being and happiness and health, but it can also be sexually boring a little bit. On the other hand, you have the narcissist who can embody very easily a sense of dominance and power imbalance that is very attractive in the bedroom, very sexually alluring, but on the other side is very unsafe to be in a relationship with. And I think if you want to be a masterful lover, you want to learn to master both. You want to learn to be this consistent, dependable, safe, compassionate lover that also can invoke and embody the sense of dominance and power and in a playful, compassionate and loving way. These dildos the who just have long hair and chests like seals and fuck. They are like, now I'm just going to tell everyone how to fuck good. <laughs> and they really just it's like, you have long hair, idiot. Yeah. yeah. He's just ah, cute. Cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He Congrats. did nail, though, his description of what women want, right? Isn't this exactly what you want? Yeah. You want a guy who's not going to abuse you emotionally, but turn it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. In the bed. Like, you Slap trust him enough that he can... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, spit in your eye. Yeah. Um, Babe, staple your tits to the desk like yeah. you like to do. Smack you around, tell you the fucking whore you are. Okay. I'm going to choke you in the bedroom. Yeah. Not... In the streets. the streets. Yeah, yeah. That is sweet. I will put your head under the pillow and suffocate you for a while, <laughs> but I won't slam your door in the car. You know? <laughs> yeah. Slam your head in the car door. Excuse me. Exactly. This guy, you think is your tribe? Absolutely, he is. Yeah. You yeah, mean yeah, he's yeah. French? Uh, no, he's not. Israeli. Really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you in can hear that yeah. accent. Yeah, the rrr and the rrr. Dude, yeah. every day he, he fucks, puts a, he fucks hard. Yeah. And Israelis he puts, do, yeah. yeah. He puts a different video about how to fuck. 
Yeah. If you guys he's, I picture that. him like looking in the mirror. He's got the, he's like yes. the fucking American oh, yeah. psycho shit. I mean, one thing for sure, I know this guy can finger you in the okay. way that you could never imagine. Yes. You're, it's doing the like, you know. It's the little stuff, yeah. you know. The intricacies. Like, and he's saying shit the whole time. He's like, who is the daddy's girl? And all this kind of shit. He's doing yeah, that. He's got that he's stupid doing one, one of these right here. Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh. I can puke, you guys, seriously. <laughs> Hi, today is Monday public holiday here in Melbourne and today's makeup is beautiful. Um, Cleona's Metallics. <laughs> Looks what you, really good. A purples and a black by Revolution. What do you think? I think it turned out quite... Mm. I think I know exactly what Lady Gaga would say. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. You're my little just, monster. Just be you. You're yeah. just the best. So gorgeous. What a... It's Chromatic how much makeup is that cost-wise too? Oh, I mean, you're one palette. Maybe it's 40 bucks, 35, 40 dollars. That's a lot just to look like a looney tune, a psycho. Well, yeah. and she needs to de redify the face, she needs to put um foundation on first. Oh, that wasn't deliberate. No, it shouldn't be. I mean, it looks <clears> cool <throat> though, she to, looks good. You need to tone the face to be one color, mm. like looks pretty, you know, de redify. You had to have that straightforward talk with her we were talking about yeah, earlier, yeah. too. She needs hey, to be talked to, yeah, tell you something like put foundation, you don't look on, good, girl. get that red out. <laughs> What the fuck? Is this foreigners with hyenas with animals oh again? That's a hyena. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, foreigners with hyenas. They're man. so vicious. I'd hyenas love to will watch it rip you apart. Rip him. your whole fucking yes. body apart. Does that happen? Yeah. Every time we watch one of these, you're always we're always holding on for like, oh, I this love lion that. bite this guy's fucking arm off. I you know. I've never seen like a hyena that up close and big. Me yeah, neither. you're not supposed to. It looked like it had very like white teeth. <laughs> I know, aren't they like scrunt like scrawnier but faster in, packs, in the wild and they, and they just kind of yeah, they're gnarly. I mean, other big cats are terrified of a pack of hyenas, you know. Yeah, terrified. Dog. They'll leave they their just, kills for them. Tear they tear dead shit apart or oh, yeah, they tear shit. they tear they alive shit, shit apart. apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they tear a water buffalo <laughs> apart. So, yeah, this guy doesn't really stand a chance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you guys want to eat Chinese food for lunch? Oh. This guy has got a rat and he's deep frying it with rice around it. He's washing the rat. So you see that he washes them so they're clean, guys. Can you imagine? This is why... I didn't understand why they were like, it's racist to say it came from a lab. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> Guys. I think it's animals, more racist right? to assume it came from one of these animals. You know? they're, an they're animals. And, and here's the deal, man. I'm not squeamish about eating a lot of things. I've eaten goat, rattlesnake, shark fin soup, chicken feet. I love Chinese chicken feet. This is one I will never try this. Rats. With certainty. Well, they're, they're disease carriers, yeah, right? Chad, don't rodent. they carry the disease inside of their bodies? Like to eat them is probably not wise. Yeah, I don't think you should eat rats. They do have a lot of uh, uh, diseases. Yeah. Any rodent, I wouldn't dare. Fuck I don't me. think they're tasty. I hear squirrel meat is real gamey. You realize the way this country's going, we're going to be eating this. We're going to be forced to eat <laughs> this. That's what I was curious. <laughs> uh, how is it? Are we just running out of food? Ugh. I, I mean, grow all the chicken with steroids, whatever you got to do out there, GMO people. Just don't make me eat a rat. No. <laughs> he's salting them now. Now they're riced right up. I mean, does he have to leave the tail on? Take the fuck. Uh, well, the tail gets nice and crunchy. It's, it's actually prepared just like you prepare a roll, like a spicy tuna roll. Yeah, exactly. He's making like sushi. It's all wrapped up. Now he's going to fry it, though. I don't know, dude. Even if you fry it, you're not killing it. Fuck that shit, dude. No matter how hungry I am, I'm just going to eat it. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it. Fuck that shit, dude. I'm just going to eat it. 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 How big that is! No, no. I'd have to be beyond star like starved for you know. Are yeah. there rats because they are like in a I don't know where the hell they are. That's uh, that's, uh, that's uh, Kansas City. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just curious if their rats don't carry like maybe they're a little more like. 
grass fed rural. or something. Yeah. I, yeah. Grass fed <laughs> organic yeah. Yeah. rat. That's a good point. Like if they were just jungle rats, right? Maybe that is less disease because city they're rats not like are gross. you know living in the sewer. Right, right, right. They're yeah. not like in New York. Like oh, this feels jungle. This Ish. could be. Then you could probably right, Chad. Does that make a diff if they're like? What is Chad the fucking rodent expert here? I feel like you might <laughs> know no more. I do like, not yeah. know. If they're, you're right. If they're grass fed rats, yeah. Then... <laughs> <laughs> Chad, what kind of uh, Chad. stuff are we dealing with here in the um, outskirts of uh, of Shanghai? What's going on? <laughs> That's a rodent uh, specimen of the Asian variety out there. You the, go. In the jungle See? there. Yeah. See? This is what it looks like when we're drilling a tooth with a pretty large cavity. Oh, watch this. So I'm into guesses dental as to what talks. that little piece is. Um, what they're doing is using a round burr in a high speed and just slowly opening this up to expose more of the body of the cavity. And what we find inside can vary. It looks like a little piece of silver just flew out there. My best guess is that it was originally a silver filling that got new cavities around it. Oof. And uh -huh, dude. essentially at some point that silver filling was just floating in cavity. And so that's why it was unsupported and just flew out there. And hollow the fuck um, out of But too. sometimes we find like spinach and stuff like that as well. And now they're just going around from outside in and cleaning things up with a round burr and a slow speed. Let's see if this one needs a root canal. Hell um, yeah. Looks like it's really close to the nerve right now. Okay, so the nerve space is exposed. And so this tooth is going to need a root canal. The reason why this area is not really bleeding is because the nerve is actually necrotic and it's died already. So oh, sweet. Um, it's possible that this doctor already knew that this tooth was going to need a root canal just based off the proximity to the nerve of the cavity and also um, based off the x-ray. And this yeah. can need a crown as well. Hell yeah. That, there's These no I tooth enjoy. Left. These are yeah. TikToks right? I like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, She's uh... a babe. <laughs> yeah. She can make you come. Oh, yeah. yeah do cool. Isn't that crazy? That was cool. And all that, it's just food and decay. Yeah. And spinach, I hear a lot, gets stuck in people's cavities. Makes me too. not want to eat it anymore. I know, me too. Ugh. Are my husband and I polyamorous Again. or ENM, ethically non monogamous? It turns out the label of my relationship matters to some, so you tell me. My husband and I have been together for 13 years and non monogamous that entire time. We've been married for nine and have two kids together. We're hierarchical, so we put our relationship first if we ever feel like our marriage or our family is threatened. Luckily, we've never felt like anyone was a threat to us. Anyone we've dated or been with has just added to our lives. Most of our relationships have been casual, especially early. I find her. To exhausting. be exhausting yeah, and also a scary person. Yeah. yeah. You know, because she is articulate. She is, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like she, she speaks about it. Yeah. She's an intelligent person. She explains the, it. Intelligence in the service of neurotic. Yeah. You well, know, it's like, like, I mean, how many oh. phylums do we have to put every little well, detail? Well, also, of it's our... so self serving. Like you, you register the narcissism that she possesses mm -hmm. uh, and that she's either hyper aware of, I think she's aware of, but. The way that she explains it makes makes she's trying to make you think I'm this is not self serving. No, this is this rational. Is like, this is just oh, you guys wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> what you this guys is important so. to so many people. So many people want to yeah. know about my sex. You don't need to put any of this out. Nobody there. needs. She climbed a mountain to tape. Well, that's yeah. the thing is she's on this ski trip and I'm like, bitch, you're spending your whole ski trip making these dumbass videos. Like no one. We really don't care. Right. You have two kids <laughs> and you have somebody. Yo, you there. got two little kids. Does How she? do you have time? Yeah. Yes. Oh, boy. How do you have time to even bang? By the way, everybody sees you at school. You know what Yo. I mean? Like, that's sure. As, as those kids get older, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I follow your mom on TikTok. If I was yeah. a single dad, I'd be like, see her What's at the up? pickup line, be like, sup? <laughs> How's your EFP4 today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, your, uh, the moon at? You saw your snowboard video. It's pretty <laughs> neat. Yeah, let me know when you need another uh, non-monogamous whatever the hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both of these nuts work uh, if you were trying to find out. <laughs> kid's cute, by the way. I like your kid. Yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. Set up a play date. Yeah. Bring the dude. So I will paraphrase one video she made where she's like, did my husband and I practice ethical non-monogamy while I was pregnant? And the answer is yes. She's like, yes. Yeah, I know. Oh, she's like, I chose not to because I like my belly was getting bigger all the time. That was why I she chose, chose not like, to. Well, yeah, yeah you're fucking pregnant yeah. with another guy's seed already. Yeah, like, so slow no down. To, only slow weirdos down. are trying to yeah. fuck. Yeah. And she goes, the only thing I asked is that 
he would sleep with people who didn't live in our city because we live in a big city, but it's not big enough. And I don't want people at school to know in yeah. my office. Like, well, mm. yeah, dipshit, but and now you're on TikTok. Scene. Every day they also have to have the fun. Like, how was your date last night? <laughs> oh my God. What if she said, she's like, as I grew, I made sure that he had to exceed my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Riceball was able to the pet guinea pig that was entrusted to me by her owner to preserve. Once her skin was processed, her carcass was used to make a mold, and then a form was made with foam and clay. Mm. So Taxidermy I'm going to be doing guys. a test fitting here just to make sure that everything is lining up right and it's looking like it's going to be a good fit. She was old and had bad skin in her final year of life, and as a result, she's shedding a bit, so I'm trying to be very gentle. And with a little bit more adjusting, Aww. there we go. It's looking like she's ready to mount. God, nothing would make me feel happier than seeing that on my, <laughs> you know, over the fireplace every Who's day. Who's this girl? That's what I want to know. I know. She's just some sweet girl with pretty nails that's like, I stuff guinea pigs and shit. Like, that's like, could be I don't know, that kind of tickles something in me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what. This could be it's kind of scary, but it's like, just some hot, I just picture like some hot little girl like being like, mm, you like, yeah. hot little goth. Oof. This is your chick, dude. Check her out. I think you could have a good time with her. Yeah. I bet you she's pretty. She's got, yeah, she's got like This is what can happen <laughs> if you haven't had a professional dental cleaning oh, in geez. a long time. She's back. This yellow buildup that's surrounding the tooth is Fuck. called calculus or tartar, and it's basically soft plaque that has hardened through the minerals in the saliva and attached itself to the tooth. You'll see that the tooth looks like it's pretty loose underneath. God but damn it. It's being supported by this hardened piece. I got to schedule calculus. a cleaning, dude. Yeah. The only way to save this tooth is professional dental instruments. Now, I know oh. people who have tried to buy this Cavitron, which is the instrument that they're using here that <laughs> has water coming out of it and vibrating off this stuff through Amazon, and I really wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't have water and it can burn the tooth. I highly recommend going to a professional to get this stuff removed. Mm. I could watch people die before I watch that shit. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> that was not okay, a way can to I close ask you things something? out. Hold on, just listen, hear me out. Yeah. Josh. It's the girl of your dreams. Mm -hmm. The girl of your dreams. She's a 10 in every way. Okay. But she opens her mouth and she's just got the bottom is just full like that. Is it a deal breaker? Uh, can I smell it? Probably. I could fight through it, I think. <laughs> I'd give it my best bet. I'd give it my best try, you know? Give it Good. the old college yeah. go around. Go for it. And I'd really like, even if I, the first time I go like, oh God, I'd really, I'd go back and try again. I'd be like, come on, let's, <laughs> now, now. Yeah. What's the smell like? Ugh. Mm. It's gotta be bad. Shit. It's bad. Yeah. yeah no, I it got, would be... I got, here, here's the girl of your dreams. Actually, I'll play this for you. Cause I got to get this <laughs> off my screen. I know everyone has their panties in a bunch right now about how I've licked my own excrement before, but I will say I do not do that anymore. He's intrigued. I have learned, and if I do do it, I make sure it's clean, usually, um, but I also don't do it with other people, so then I can't catch strep from them, and that's why I haven't gotten strep in over a year. Claps. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. She's cute. So she just wants to eat lick shit. She doesn't so. care about that. She doesn't. She's not just like I've accidentally lick shit. No, it's not accident. She, she she gets after it on for wow. herself. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. I I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I'd be like, hey, whatever, lady. You know, just yeah. don't do it in front of me. Yeah. And also, like, it makes you feel like you don't have to clean up as well. No, she's beautiful too. Yeah, you so. had the look of love on your face when you you were watching listening. her like the real like yeah yeah there was hey girl there was a little twinkle in your eye yeah yeah, yeah 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 it's back yeah, it's back yeah. it's back <laughs> um we have to wrap this up so first of all it's wonderful to see you oh, thank, thank you, you for, for having me. me I appreciate it um you, what's on the what's what's on the horizon here for the Roach fans well I got uh, <laughs> the Josh Potter show every Wednesday on YouTube and all over the audio places and uh, as far as shows go I'm gonna be in uh, Poughkeepsie New York June 1st mm. I'm going to be in uh, Sarasota New York Comedy Works, June great. 2nd and 3rd. Great. So, yeah, there's going to be more East Coast dates, too, and down the road in the fall. Tickets are at? Uh, on my Instagram, you can buy tickets in the, the old link there. Link uh, in the bio. At Josh underscore Potter or on uh, Twitter at J underscore Potter. There you go. Um, thank you guys very much for listening. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Love and you, And we'll mommies. see you next time. Bye.
The Cool Guy Club. Blow your mind like one of Segura's punchlines Pass him the rock, he gonna dunk and it's crunch time Eat a chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich for lunch time Big ups to the cool mom, Christina P The real OG, FGT, RTD Blonde Chola, straight out of Hungary Stepping in the room like I heard you bitches was looking for me All the ladies loving time, he like, okay Cupid Not a chance, he knows Women are fucking stupid Water champ, make the panties damp till they spill Turn your face into some coffee, here's a splash of milk Blugs poured on the court, so girl is schooling ya If not, meet you in the parking lot Good morning, Julia Cracked up the side of your head, lick a bottle That's what happens when you're trying to go Full throttle Keep it high and tight while your mates hella dope Blast off I turn into a telescope Pillin' neutron, wanna know what I'm about Take a step in my jeans, baby and Try it out, try it out, man If you're in my building, try it out You wanna fuck a piss on me, try it out Seriously, you probably only as fuck, man I'm looking for hardcore guys that mean it and wanna do it And I wanna deliver it I'm a hot, fuck white trash Come to let's fuck Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it Watch some more clips, dude Look at that one Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now.